All right. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, TTR PG. Hold on just a sec. There we go. Sorry about that. I had a technical difficulty. Today, we're going to be raising funds for on behalf of Women of D&D, Critical Causes for WAVA. If you aren't familiar with WAVA, they provide feminist support services to all cis trans women, trans non-binary, and two-spirit survivors of sexual assault across Canada and beyond. The funds from today's games will go towards crisis line support. Keep an eye out on the chat for details about the different awards and prices that we have today. We have our lovely cast here with us, as well as our moderators, moderators uh, Shadow, Ace, and Anna, and our lovely producer, Nikki. <laughs> so um, players, I'll have our players go ahead and introduce um, themselves and their characters and who their super BFF is. We're gonna be playing Guys in Chairs, where uh, the lovely individuals here um, are BFFs of superheroes. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with uh, Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator over at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I'm going to be playing today Edna, you know. Oh, she's the, I'm the best friend of this awesome uh, werewolf who, uh, he's just so, he's lovely. He's just a lovely guy, you know. I mean, he, he goes by skull, but really he's just a big hugger. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead with uh, Mo. Uh, hey, I'm Mo with AC Pronouns. Uh, I do a lot of tabletop content creating, just so much. Too much. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing Ren, they, she pronouns as well. And they are the medic of Blackbird, who is like a uh, super, but not like super powered, more like just a person who's got really awesome skills and kind of like works for like the, the, the government and is a superhero as well in a suit. Yeah, got to fix them. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you. We're going to go ahead with Fenway. Hi, everyone. I am Fenway Jones, also known as Fenway, the team DM on Twitter uh, and at Jasper's Game Day and all the social, the social medias. Um, sometimes I forget that I can do things for other charities besides my own. So I almost introduced my own, but we're not going to go there right now. <laughs> Um, but I will be playing Jet Ski. Uh, she is a, uh, the, the gadget guy of a super called Karen who got her name because she is an alien, came to Earth. Uh, I heard everyone calling people that name and thought it was a very powerful name. So she named herself that. Um, and she doesn't really understand gadgets or, or technology of any sort on earth. And uh, that's what I'm here for. Awesome. We'll go ahead with Fair. Uh, hi, I'm Fair. And today I will be playing uh, Lisa Frank. Um, my best friend is uh, a superhero called Moon Shadow. And she does like moon manipulation. She's my best friend. Um, and I have another best friend named Claire. And, you know, sometimes I think they look alike. But when I ask, they just laugh at me. <laughs> um, but I am a tech whiz. Um, uh, and my pronouns for Lisa are she, they. And my pronouns are she, her. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. And we'll go ahead with Gliza. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Gliza. I am a person of many hats. I am a podcast host. I am a writer. I am a TTRPG performer. I'm also a streamer on Twitch, uh, Variety, whatever. Um, Today, I will be playing Justine, and Justine is the person that Iron Vamp, my uh, superhero vampire, who wears, you know, uh, the the metallic suit to fight crime. Um, uh, I am the I am Justine, the one that he relies on for help. I am the one that always knows a guy and knows where to get the things that Iron Vamp needs. Justine, that's me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, everyone. And I'm Momo, uh, she, they pronouns. Um, I will be your lovely storyteller today as we navigate through this uh, epic tale of uh, superheroes and uh, their friends. Um, you can 
we can go ahead and get started. So it's just a regular day like any other and our super BFFs, um, they are here kind of chilling in their uh, newly kind of new as of a year headquarters um, out here in the town. They're they're, uh, superhero friends of all kind of come and they're working together and um, as such this group has uh, for the last year been getting to know each other and their quirks as well as their superheroes quirks. Um, so let me know what you're all doing in this secret HQ hideout. This stuff is going down. Um, oh, I'm just wandering around through all the, the the cubicles, don't you know? Gotta say hi to everybody. It's an, it's a bright and sunny day. And even though we gotta be inside here and being ready for when the emergencies happen, it, you, you still gotta be able to say hi to everybody. And so I'm gonna, uh, do we even have a water cooler? Should we get one of those? Justine is um barely awake because of course their best friend is a vampire and they have to stay up with them um and she's just like and uh sh- sh- inside voice please oh, oh i'm oh i'm so sorry oh i'll go do, do you need some more coffee i can get you i do, do, don't you know you need some more coffee uh, i think i think mm-hmm. i do yes i would love some coffee I'll I'll go get you some, right? The two sugars, three creams. Oh, just whatever sugars you can find. Pile it all on. I it's got fine. you. I got you. Oh, you're, I'll get you. I'll go over and make the strongest coffee I can. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> and I think as we see Edna walking by to go to the, like, the kitchen area, mm-hmm. uh, Edna walks past the, I guess, the medic room or like the like nurse's office or whatever we have. <laughs> And you see Ren and they're actually sort of like counting their own, like sort of doing inventory of like what bandages and ibuprofen mm-hmm. and like making sure we have all the supplies because you got to make, you got to make sure you have all the things before a fight happens. <laughs> so you got, they're with their clipboard and just like checking things off. Very good. Yeah, you definitely have a fully stocked medic area with high tech gadgets and all kinds of cool stuff like the height of medical everything. Um, all right. And Lisa and Jetski, where are you about? Um, I'm in the computer lab because I assume there is one. <laughs> oh, absolutely. There's there is a fully functional, just decked out computer lab there. Um, I'm just actively writing some fan fiction right now. <laughs> I love that for them. <laughs> yeah. And Which I'm we- really into it. So, I mean, I hear people talking, but like, mm-hmm. I'm just like, I have my focus right now. Yeah. They're like in their zone of fanfic. Yeah. How about you, Jet Ski? Where are you at? Jet Ski is probably in um, some room, like some random closet that they found um, away from everyone. And they probably stole some sort of, I would I say stole, but like, nabbed one of the weapons to make themselves an espresso machine um (laughs) and is now currently counting how many shots of espresso can fit in in a glass um and and then drinking it all um and (laughs) then also monitoring and making sure none of the other gadgets are are broken um Mm -hmm specifically none of none of karen's gadgets are like you know smashed because she couldn't figure them out i've deposited a uh, coffee near justine and then as i'm walking past jet ski i'm like oh i was getting coffee oh um i think i'll get you some decaf okay yeah and i'm gonna continue on down go going to ask everybody if you'd like some coffee oh Aww. lisa are you lo- can i get you some coffee um yeah it's not a good idea because then i'll just be hyper all day but i'll take some anyway listen i know that you're in the middle of writing and you want to get you know lots of words per minute so i'll get you yeah. uh low on the sugar uh no cream no lots of cream lots of sugar 
Ah, like everybody else here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, and you're so considerate. Well, that's what I'm here for, is to help everybody out. Oh, Ren, Ren, how you doing? You need any coffee? And I think Ren pops her head out at the the, the medic's room and just like, you see like the clipboard, like sort of like holding on and they're like, uh, yes, please. Uh, five espressos, Americano, thank you. And just like pops back in. <laughs> oh, I'm a regular Starbucks today. Oh, yay. Oh. <laughs> And I'm going to go. <laughs> oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> I'm going to go deliver all the coffees. I'll, I'll stop by jet ski for the espresso and see if I can like trade coffee for espresso. <laughs> oh, jet ski's perfectly content to make an Americano for Ren. Um, and it's a little bit like jank- it's a little bit janky because um, <laughs> it's an espresso machine made out of gadgets that she found lying around. But um, yeah, it works. Oh, this is so innovative the way you got this. This is really nice. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. (laughs) (laughs) And just as uh, just as Edna's walking away, um, you hear a little jingle on your communication device, jet ski, um, which you know who's going to be on the other line. The only person who has this uh, this number for you, Um, a little jingle coming in and screen opens up and you see uh, kind of like a little holographic of your alien friend aka Karen there Jessica there's um I have really bad news okay all right Um, is it actually really bad or does it have to do with the gadget no it's terrible news it's it's really terrible news it's um well I I did have an issue with a gadget this morning but I, I think I, I, I fixed it. You see, I, uh, I stepped on it and it stopped making noises. Um, so that was good, but there's fairly bad news. There's, um, really bad news. Okay. Um, we'll talk about the gadget thing in a second. All right. But, um, what, what's this bad news? So, so, um, it seems that on my radar that there are going to be some not so nice aliens heading our way. Um, they, um, they're not here yet, but um, f- estimating that they could be here from any time this afternoon to tonight and maybe tomorrow, it's, they're, uh, they're traveling at kind of a different variable of speeds. Are they coming for you? Oh, no. Why would they be doing that? Because you're an alien here. I mean, I mean, I uh, like I mean, we have a little bit of I I know them just a, a little bit, a little bit of history. Is it a little bit of bad history? Uh, OK, yes, the history is bad. The history is bad. Um, but um. Th- they, they, they are also just bad themselves. They are very bad. They, they go to different planets and they just c- cause chaos and, and, and destruction. Ter- terrible. Um, it, it's definitely, most definitely not something personal towards, towards just me. I don't know how much I believe that at the moment, but that's okay. Well, that's not as important as letting everyone else know that they're coming. Yeah, you, you should let them know. We maybe maybe we can catch them by surprise, and or or maybe they're not going to come here in any at all. Maybe maybe they're maybe they're just going to di- divert their direction and go go to another planet and cause chaos there. Um, jet ski's going to like close her <laughs> communication device as, you know, as you she's doing the, like rambling, as, yeah. as she's doing like the like. Oh, oh no, we're we're breaking up and then like rubbing like the candy wrapper in front of it, like clearly on camera and then just closing it. You hear the like, <laughs> oh no, on the other side. She's like, oh God, I, I did I break this gadget too? And she, you hear like different beeps and, and you such. snap it closed like a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Miss flip phone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am then gonna grab what's left of the espresso. So there's like five shots left of the espresso that I was pulling and then go hand it to Justine 
and say, you're going to need this. I promise you. <laughs> oh, huh? What? Huh? Drink now. Why? Oh, and then I and I and I drink it. And what's up? What's happening? Uh, bad aliens coming, possibly for Karen, um, but cause coming to cause chaos. Bad aliens. Yes. Got it. Got it. Yep. And then she opens up her own little computer and she types up bad aliens she's obviously not even fully awake she's just typing out on a word document she thinks she's sending a message to iron vamp but it's just a word no actually let's make it an excel document i was gonna ah, say we're gonna do an excel, <laughs> uh, an, excel kill your own. <laughs> an excel document what's just thinking Yo, oh what's up um, oh my yo, god where up? you at uh, bad aliens where you at <laughs> i was like don't worry um i sent a message to iron vamp um <laughs> they should know what's happening soon uh okay taking a while though and then stares at the at the thing it's like (laughs) oh it's because i wrote it in an excel let me actually send the message and i do (laughs) i do send a message straight to uh iron vamp uh to sort of wake them up uh to be like uh yo there's um aliens coming for karen (laughs) apparently, and they will cause chaos. And I send that as a text to um, Iron Vamp. Iron Vamp. All right. Um, all right. You do that. And, and then I'm going to go around and tell everyone else um, varying degrees of it's, it's they're coming for possibly Karen, possibly coming for maybe Karen. Um <laughs> Entirely. Definitely Karen. Yeah, definitely, definitely Karen. Karen. What did she oh. do? I don't <laughs> yeah, know. She says she, she has she has a little bit of bad history with them. She tried to say that they're just coming for to cause chaos on Earth and that she just happens to be here, but I don't know how much I believe that. It sounds like just a bad breakup. Yeah. I you think I wrote a I think I wrote a fan fiction about this once. Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> And I spent like 20 minutes trying to find a fucking fan fiction, not calling my super. <laughs> and then and then Jesse finds Edna and goes, uh uh, Karen's ex-partners are coming here. You're evil aliens. Oh, for crying out loud, why does there have to be so much drama llamas? All right, hold on. And I'll pull out my phone and start to text um skull who is actually listed by their real name in my phone, but I I just, I'm going to go ahead and, and type out and be like, oh, there's bad aliens on the way. Your your friend is going to be in trouble. And oh, uh, there's coffee back here at the, the home base if you need. My favorite part about this is that we're just texting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's no sense of urgency. It's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I get well, it. Yeah. <laughs> like you'll be fine, right? Fine. It's good. It's yeah. good. It's okay. After I try finding my fan fiction, I will send a message to Moon Shadow. Um, and also send another message to my best friend Claire to tell her about the drama. Ah, I love that. It's just... the same person. I just don't realize it. <laughs> it's so good. No, it's so good. They've never been at the same place at the same time. Like... I know, but they're all Why every time they? I ask. Every time I ask Claire if she wants to meet Moon Shadow, she says she's too busy. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> and that's when, Justine, you get a little, you know, jingle mm-hmm. on your phone. You get a message back. And it's like a, a very kind of, a, um, it, it, it's the way that it reads is like very kind of uh, old. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, it reads very old and it's like uh, basically the gist of the message is like, well, what do Karen's problems have to do with me is basically the gist of it. But it's in like in know, ancient English. Yeah, it's like in <laughs> ancient English. Like, what I'm sorry, I'm that? having a hard. What, what does do- that? What does uh, that? What the Karen's Karen's problems have have to do with thine? Yes, I have (laughs) to do with thy, my thine life. I don't know. It comes through in like a gothic font. 
<laughs> yes, it, <laughs> does, it does. It does. It does. This font yes. doesn't even have a gothic font, but somehow it comes through as a gothic font. Yes, and, and you can just imagine Vamp like just like I don't want to do this. Yeah, he just he speaks in a gothic font. Yes, 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 yes. He definitely does. And like, there's an emoji at the end, and it's like a vampire emoji, but it's like it has like a tear. Like I don't want to <laughs> deal with Karen's crap damn it like <laughs> um, i te- i i call him this time i oh okay I, um i dial the phone because i know texting him he texts another long gothic thing and it'll take him forever to make it sound cool so i call him this time and there's a little jingle and and, and he answers him justine hey bud what's up do you sleep well um well, no, I was awake all night. I mean, you're a vampire. That's kind of what you do. Anyway, so remember? I was just about to go to bed when you shared this absolutely horrendous news about Karen and her mm. problems. <laughs> I, I understand that um, we technically, that you technically find um, Karen a bit of an inconvenience. However, remember when we joined this um, this league? Do, yes, do you remember? It, that name, it, it makes my skin crawl. It, it makes everybody's skin crawl. I think that was the purpose, uh, Karen, so that it'll strike fear into the hearts of men everywhere and managers. Um, but we, we did sign an agreement we we did, and you signed oh, it. Yes, the blood, agreement, which is weird because nobody asked you to do that. But, but doesn't um, everybody sign their agreements in blood? Justine, Justine, tell them Moon Shadow's gonna be there. Moon Shadow's gonna be there. Um, and oh. they want. They will. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if Moon Shadow is going to be there, then of I course. Suppose I should also be there. Yeah. I'm try to hook them up forever. Uh, yeah, um, definitely. Uh, so I will see you in a few. Don't, don't, you don't need to put on uh, makeup because you're going to be wearing the Iron Vamp suit, okay? You but don't take, you're going to waste time. The scene, if you look good, you're going to feel good too, don't you know? All right, all right, but just, just do what you need to get here. I, I need to feel my best. I'll I'll have everything you need over here, bud. Uh, I'll see you soon. Fare thee well, Justine. F- fare thee well. Fare thee well. And then I I hang up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you get um a text back. Also, Edna, and it's like a very relaxed vibes on this text back, and it's just like, good morning, Edna. It's like super, like just chilly vibe. relaxed vibe i was just making a pop tart and do you like strawberry flavor i could maybe bring you some and what's going on with karen do you do you you need to come over there (laughs) like it's very like just like they're just chilling like you know just very friendly chilling i will text back and my text is filled with every emoji on the planet um that that is some form of the smiley face but all the very stock smiley faces like i've not gone through the trouble of looking for any of the 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 real ones and every once in a while an ascii one just ends up in there uh and i will text back oh yeah the strawberry ones are real good bring them over and i've got a i've got a a toaster oven and we can warm them up while i fill you in on everything that's going on with these aliens that are coming uh but come over quick because i i think i see justine pulling out the eyeliner and so i think everybody's on their way (laughs) nice he he messaged back very quickly and and Oh, a toaster oven. Like, I need to get me one of those. Like, they toast the Pop-Tarts so well whenever you toast them. And uh, he's like, I'll I'll bring two boxes. <laughs> Excellent. See you soon, buddy. Bye. And I will make a... a I'll flip on over to my notepad where I, I keep, like, my to-do list. Yeah. Uh, go to Ikea pickup toaster oven. <laughs> yes. You get a smiley face back. It's like the big smiley face with, like, the blushy cheeks back from and, them and i will announce to anybody oh skull's on his way he's coming he's also bringing pop tarts for everybody we definitely do not have a toaster oven anymore 
oh did what? something happen what to my toaster? to it oh no i think i think rin just, just pops her head out hopes, slowly and just like, holds up the espresso machine uh it's in here you sacrifice the toaster of it for an espresso machine it's an yes. improvement and like rin's finishing off the last <laughs> of her espresso <laughs> i like i think i like pop tarts better than espresso well, then you are the one percent of the the population here. Uh, That's not true, because Skull's coming over. He's bringing the pop tarts. Oh, well, I got you. I got you, and I'm gonna quickly I, text back. Bring the toaster oven with you. We have espresso. <laughs> <laughs> you get a message back. Oh, good idea. I'm gonna dunk my pop tart in the espresso. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have espresso pop tarts now. That's a that's a nice thing. I'm gonna try that immediately. It's gonna keep it nice and warm. Everybody's gonna be so happy and full of energy for these bad aliens. Do we do we know anything about the bad aliens? No, I think it's Carrot's ex partner. Yeah. Oh, I think they had a bad relationship. Wait, yeah. wait, what's going on? Some, um, some managers. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah. It could be a swarm of managers. Oh, wait, what? What's going on? I apparently I I missed the the conversation that was happening. Uh, oh, we're just trying to guess what kind of aliens are coming. Aliens? I are think coming? it's yeah. I've been yeah, a, I've been yeah. stuck in the bedroom. No one's telling me. Any... Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> hold on. You get better communication. <laughs> it's it's fine. Hold on. Maybe like, like just a conference. We should call have like a time. group chat or something. Yeah, <laughs> we do have a group chat. We just none of us ever use it. Yeah, oh, I can add it to. I can add it to my ICQ on my phone. It'll be great. I, oh my god! My, what? I think, <laughs> I think Justine has an Excel deck. For yeah. Us. <laughs> we can all just we can all just text totally the Excel understand job. that oh, okay. uh, the ICQ because you know she texts on an Excel. It's fine. I, I you can add me on there. It's okay. Yeah. Hey Edna. <laughs> yeah. You didn't tell Skull that Mood Shadow was coming, did you? Uh, well, I said the whole gang is probably gonna be here. So oh. I, yeah. Why is that gonna be? Oh, he they don't. Uh, he doesn't oh. like her. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe if this whole thing is about some bad people who have a beef with with Karen and they especially if it's like a, a partner or something and they're just going to need to talk it out. And maybe this will be an inspiration for Moonshadow and, and Skull to talk it out. Maybe it's finally time for them to sit yeah. down and have a little chat, right? I should show you the story I wrote where it's like they reconcile and then they also hook up and then they also hook up with iron fam Ooh, i i like that and 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 everybody ends up happy in the end Ooh, yeah exactly i'm trying to make it a reality well i'll help you as much as i can but you know uh, sometimes these superheroes they have their own ideas about what they want to do and all you can do is just support them and you know that's that true they'll 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 get along with everybody and give them lots of love and support and cappuccinos uh-huh i'm definitely aiming for the lots of love part <laughs> Well, I got uh, the cappuccinos and I'll go over to to Ren and say, yeah, so that's the deal is we've got probably the evil manager, alien, possibly uh, backstory people coming. And as that, as you hand that uh, coffee or espresso, forgive me, over to Ren, uh, Ren, you get a, uh, a little uh, jingle on your, your phone. It's a message that's come through a text message and it is uh, from Blackbird and um, the message says, um, you know, I've gotten some information um, from, you know, the the uh, the government that deals with the aliens and um, there are aliens headed straight for our planet. Don't freak out. I'm not freaking out. Everything is going to be fine. We're in the process of evacuating cities. We're trying to, you know, coordinate where they're going to be landing. Um can you uh and and it, it also says uh can you uh can you ask Karen Karen must know something about these aliens because they're also aliens and you know they're just like how big the universe is the, yeah they just think we know you're all an alien right aliens? yeah 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 you're an alien you know that other alien right 
because because Blackbird really admires Karen. You know, yeah. Blackbird is just and like, I, and I, I think I think uh, whatever they ask about Karen's like, well, actually, right. the aliens do know Karen, and it is not going to be a good time for what are Karen's pronouns? Her, them, she, her, she, her, uh, for her. Uh, we're speculating it's ex lovers or a group of managers. We aren't quite sure, <laughs> or maybe both. Our, yeah, our, it's a group of managers both. who are also her ex lovers. <laughs> also, hey Red, did uh-huh. Blackbird just ask if Karen knows all aliens? Yes, we're we're working on it. We we are. Yeah. I've, I've, I'm we, taking those classes with love, her. We love to generalize people. <laughs> I know. It seems like such a Karen thing to do. <laughs> yeah, which is it was just just baffling because her name is I, I, Karen. I, I, I think I think Blackbird's uh, Karen's jumping off of Blackbird. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, Blackbird. Like so, Blackbird. Uh, they they've uh, because they know Karen and they've they've gotten like alien information from them. They're just like, wow, they know so much, and they've shared that knowledge because they work with the government. Uh, so they've shared like pertinent information with them like oh well actually this is about the aliens blah 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 like actually this is wrong but this is right and they're like wow they shared information with the government about aliens wow that's not good (laughs) (laughs) i've watched many many movies that turned out really well when that that, has happened so i guess that's next week's problem though (laughs) (laughs) jesky has made it very clear to Ren. Jeez, that if Karen gets attacked by the government, that is entirely her and Blackbird's fault. And I've like basically, I was like, look, I've told Blackbird, and Blackbird's like, no, nah, it's not going to happen. Karen is is, is, is protected. Is yeah, protected. she has she does she know the government? Because she works for them, but does she know it? Because <laughs> if she, she knew it? it, she would know that that's not true. She knows as much as she knows. Unfortunately, she's <laughs> there's some restriction to classified information that oh yeah, we'll yeah. Listen, Kara's, we'll... in tr- Kara's in trouble. <laughs> we'll have to cross Kara. that bridge when we come to it. It's gonna be a problem, don't you know? But it'll be okay. We we also know people in the government. I'm sure. I'm I'm, I'm sure that um Skull knows some people in the government. I mean, they're always kind of looking out for him <laughs> in a way yeah. that's creepy. That's not good. Everybody's no. in danger. I'm gonna have to make you all new identities. <laughs> in the fanfic. <laughs> in the fan- no, I, I can Sorry. hack this. I can hack the system, but also, yes, I'll make. I'll write you guys fanfic shit if you want. <laughs> Jetski's now uh, chanting "Prison Break" at Area 51. Um. <laughs> Jetski's name is actually a secret identity that I put together <laughs> previously, and now she's going to need another one. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yes. Oh my gosh. And just as uh, you're all having this uh, chat about Blackbird, <laughs> um, uh, Skull shows up, um, just kind of coming through the door, um, this big um, kind of... Uh, S- skull correct me if i'm wrong they can basically um they can turn their werewolf they can turn into werewolf or be people correct correct oh, cool oh yeah oh yeah okay, cool, and cool. if if he's coming to work he's probably in full yeah. werewolf mode you know okay. trying to be all dark and right, scary right, 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 right. and the whole the whole yeah. thing but i know he kind of like you know kind of kicks through the door although it's like a sliding open door so like he's he's so he's like you know trying to you know put on that like I'm does he badass. miss it as it opens up like he goes to kick it and just opens it's the air yeah it's nothing but air yeah the slider just goes whoosh, and you see him like kick through his, the door yeah his leg he doesn't realize it's gonna happen and so he kind of stumbles and then it's like yeah and then he's got pop tarts like boxes like this full went to costco you know and pop tarts and he's got the variety of flavors and he's like well i i brought the pop tarts because yeah I, i guess you would want me to bring them i was not my idea edna thought that it would be nice to share them with everyone so i brought them and he just like walks up through the table and just like lets them out on the table like boxes of pop tarts all flavors flavors oh my goodness this is this is so considerate thank you so much skull um 
Also, I noticed you still haven't dyed those patches pink. I think it would look really good on you. You see, you see, Edna, you see Skull kind of look to you and you see like a little like blush go on his cheeks. And he's just like, oh, yeah, pink. I, I, I guess I could consider it. And uh, you, you can see Edna by the look on his face that like he definitely like he's like, oh, pink, that sounds freaking amazing, you know, but he's just like, Shh. he's like, I couldn't do that, though. And he's, you see this conflict on his on his face. I'll, like, help, I'll help you if you want help. <laughs> I have time. Well, wait, not uh, now, but later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe if I could find some time. Um, Before you go to Area 51. Area, oh, what? That's <laughs> jet ski. That's next week's mission. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Before you yeah. go to Area 51. Yeah. That's so we'll, yeah. Well, first that's we got to a- get you some breakfast because the aliens are on the way. Uh, come help me unpack this. We can look at all the pink uh, frosting and you can decide what pink you want to dye your, your, your fur. It'll be nice. Lisa's really good at that. Okay. My favorite part is that there's no sense of urgency with these aliens. We're just like, let's have breakfast first. Like, well, sure. And then we'll figure it out. <laughs> the aliens oh yeah we we're gonna save karen uh is karen here yet no i i don't know where she is oh skull you're the first to arrive don't you know you were really on time i'm so impressed oh yeah i ran here and i was jumping over the buildings and i you know i ran as fast as i could um, and then as as Skull is kind of shuffling through the, the Pop-Tarts, um, you all uh, sense kind of like a dark presence um, arriving, very familiar dark presence of the Iron Vamp who kind of walks up in their iron suit. They've got like a face mask on, fully covered in their kind of mech suit, basically. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to get sunlight to touch him. Exactly. And it's like a very like machine kind of sound as like he walks <laughs> up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. You're here. Thank you. Um, there's a cape attached. It's just billowing in the wind. And the, and the funny thing is there's no wind. He's making it do it himself. Yeah. Um, just, his suit has little hands that are just billowing. Yes. He definitely had a uh, had jet ski like like, hey, do you think you could, you know, it would be cool. I think it could be impressive if my my cape would just so definitely hired like commissioned jet ski to like get some gadgets in there for yeah (laughs) to just make the the the, the guy that i knew was jet ski for that part yes the guy you knew was jet ski (laughs) you're like ah i got you i got you Um, right (laughs) iron map is here uh y'all uh skull is over there i know you you know like hanging out with skull sometimes but uh, you can have some pop tarts over there, and then you know pop um, tarts. <laughs> yeah, I think Skull thinks it's this new cool dark thing, and you know how you like dark things, right, Iron Vamp? Yes, I. Uh, I will talk with Skull, but I don't know about these tarts that pop. Basically, Justine is just making uh, whenever Justine wants Iron Vamp to do anything, she just says it's dark and gritty and goth. It's it's the new gritty thing. Oh. And you like Skull, right? Because Skull is dark and gritty. Yeah, you should do exactly what Skull is doing. Justine is full on messing with this uh, with this Iron Vamp. Yeah. Hey, Iron Vamp, you know, the straw, the cherry flavor Pop-Tarts, it looks like blood. Yeah. Oh. Skull has set aside all of the chocolate uh pop tarts with the chocolate frosting because they're the, the darkest ones. And um <laughs> and Edna will look back and say, Oh, if you want them to be really dark, you eat them without toasting them. Oh, oh. no, that's too edgy for me. I have to toast my pop tarts. Yeah, oh, they're so I'll, edgy, yeah. I'll take I, I shall take mine pop tarts untoasted. <laughs> And he walks over, <laughs> and as he walks over, it's like, zhu, zhu, like the fucking zhu, machine zhu, sound. Zhu. Yeah, the and whole like, place. I'm is sorry. Shaking. I'm sorry. I shall take my pop tarts untoasted. <laughs> is might be my favorite thing I've heard today. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I shall take my pop tarts untoasted. <laughs>
(gasps) (laughs) And you see the like face masks start to come down. And there's a very like, just a very classical uh, vampire gentleman underneath and um, very handsome. Very pale, the fangs are out, and does the, he look the, like Lestat, like from like interview with yes, the vampire? Hundred <laughs> percent. He is Lestat. He watched yeah. Lestat and was like, "This are is you, the this is like, the mm, this is Pete, the one." This Lestat is, is based on Iron Vest. That's <laughs> yes, where absolutely. Based on of Iron yes, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yes. The mech suit also looks like Lestat's outfit. Like it's yes. metal. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's that's like that metal real. When it was real, it's all like, in metal. Oh, Iron Vest. Do you know Lestat? And it was like Lestat is fake. I'm the real Lestat. Yeah. Hates yeah, when okay. Lestat is mentioned to him. <laughs> yeah. But Iron Vamp, you maybe should take some like fashion pointers from Lestat because you know. Um, in the vampire Lestat, he or in, in Queen of the Damned, he was dressed like a like a rock star, and you would look great in some tight leather pants. He looks towards you, and do you think Moonshadow would appreciate? She, she loves a good butt, and if you wear the tight leather pants, <laughs> your butt will be on display. Oh. I, uh, I I know a guy. I'll get you the leather pants if you fight today to protect Karen. <laughs> also, maybe go pleather, though. I'm just saying. Like, it doesn't have to be actual leather. Actual like, leather is the darkest. The leather is the darkest, though. <laughs> I don't know. Have you guys seen pleather? It's pretty dark. I remember is just losing his mind. He's just like <laughs> Skull. Skull, what do you think? If if I am to impress the fair moon shadow, <laughs> do you think pleather pants or leather pants would do thine ass best? <laughs> And poor, poor Skull is so, because uh, Skull has beef with Moonshadow. And so I'm sure that's probably one of those grumbly moments of like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you there know, is. There's just like, like, I don't know, wear whichever ones you want. Who cares about what she thinks? <laughs> you know, Skull, I have to tell you, Moonshadow has been working on her powers. And I mean, she doesn't just uh, make Moonbeams uh, fall randomly now. Oh yeah, I mean she's been working on that ever since you know yeah. the incident. You should you should definitely talk with her again. The, maybe today is a day that we can all just get get our feelings out and heal a little bit together. Karen's dead. Karen's dead. <laughs> 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 After we find the aliens. Uh, also, um, I'd like to to note that um, <clears throat> Jetski entirely forgot to update. Karen. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. No, definitely. Okay, so, so she's gonna um uh, go up to the Pop Tarts and she's gonna take a strawberry and a chocolate one and like smush them together. Um <laughs> and then and then we'll um text Karen, oh, by the way, the rest of the team's here. You might want to get your butt over here. <laughs> you get a message back like very quickly and it's uh it's a it's a message back that's like I, i'm trying to figure out this damn bus system and i'm you trying to get there as fast fly. as i can but i need to learn how to use the public transportation oh my god <laughs> obviously karen's not too stressed about maybe she was maybe she was she's like it's caught. fine it's okay i think I think maybe she wants to get caught because she actually wants to get back with her ex. Oh my god. <laughs> no, she just wants to give the manager some crap. I mean, that's her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Her ex-partner, yeah. rather. Her I don't know what their gender expression that is. also is. a manager. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, opposites attract, you know, the the the, the it's rivals and enemies turned to yeah lovers iron vamp is just pop tart in the mouth now just like watching and as you all are, are having this chat and just nodding like learning like oh <laughs> like, <laughs> and then he's also thinking i should start up a fight with Moonshadow. maybe that would help me and my goals in being in love with yes rivals <laughs> to, to lovers to, 
right? Like, is, is taking it, notes is on this, this bad thing? Taking notes in his head. Wait, maybe I shouldn't do the pleather pants. <laughs> Just wear, this... wear, the, wear the, the pants that make his butt look the flattest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mom, oh, my God. He's like, yeah, he, make, he's like... Her, <laughs> make her earn the thing. Make her earn the plump rump. Exactly. <laughs> he's like, wait. If they were lovers and now they're enemies, should I first become enemies with Moonshadow? So then we shall become lovers afterwards. <laughs> Now, is he saying this out loud? Yes, of course, I, of course. I'm going oh, to be standing next to him. It's like, no, that you don't have to be enemies. You can just go straight to from friends to lovers. You know, you don't have to. You, you don't have to friend. friend. Yes, we're we're friends. Do you think we're? I think you're friends. I wasn't sure. We're, we're teammates at the very least. Teammates. Okay, that's pretty good, right? Teammates, pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Speak. Also, you have to know Karen is a teammate and we are here to save them. Oh, yes. Why do you have to remind me about that yeah. wretched name? I told you it makes my skin <laughs> crawl. <laughs> well, speaking of teammates, oh, well, we're waiting for the one that will, you know, shall who be unnamed and also, oh, where's Blackbird? Is Blackbird coming too? And yeah, just, Moon yeah, just as, just as you're all like, where are they? What's going on? You see, as uh, Karen <clears throat> comes in through the roof, flies in, and just like in a hot mess express, you know, yeah, kind of stumbling. Hair. Yeah, yeah, has the Karen, a Karen haircut. Hair. Totally oh, no. has the Karen hair, you know. Um, and they try to like flip it, but like it's it's Karen hair, so you can't really flip it. They're like they stumble and they stand up and they're like, I made it. But um, I guess I will have to conquer the public transportation another day. You, you still don't need to do that. You can still fly. But I need to learn the way of the human's transportation. I promise Why? you don't want to do that. It's, Why? It's a part of their culture and I would like to embrace it. You don't need to embrace it. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's yeah. not. Yeah. You can oh. just fly. It's actually more it's actually more eco-friendly for you to fly. Listen, oh. if you're all interested in uh, embracing our culture, there's way better culture that we can uh get you to watch. We'll we'll have a, a movie <laughs> night and we'll put on we'll get some brewskis and we'll put on some good movies and uh it'll be fantastic. You'll love it. But uh, don't worry about the bus so much. Oh, I love the movies. The movies are so good. And uh she walks over to the pop tarts. She's familiar with pop tarts by now, and and she is a big fan. And you see her pick up some different flavors, assortment, and and looks at the toaster oven situation, and just looks towards jet ski, and then shoves a untoasted pop tart in her mouth, like heart <laughs> untoasted. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, just as that happens at the same uh, kind of like right after same kind of time situation, you see um, Moon Shadow and Blackboard um, coming in through the front sliding doors that um, that your other friends had come in through and they're chatting it up. They're they're laughing it up, having um, having a, an, a good time, you know, and um, kind of like just like girl girl chat, you know, they're just like they're just gals having girl chat and I you know look, i look past mood shadow to see if claire also came because i invited her to come over you do not see claire claire is nowhere to be found she seems to be too busy you know she's got a lot going yeah. on you know sometimes i have to question this friendship <laughs> you should tell moon shadow that mood mm. shadow uh, maybe later it's not a good time we don't need friend drama right now i'm just very upset with claire um mood shadow hey um iron vamp is here and skull's uh, here too oh gosh um oh, no we're gonna have a, a love triangle it's perfect but um, no it's not gonna be a love triangle sorry i'm just thinking out loud in my head never mind I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I i i i saw i saw blackbird outside and uh you know we, we were you know was telling me about the aliens Oh, for yeah. by the way can you come here real quick i like pull her over to like the corner i'm like yeah. don't tell blackbird anything because she snitches to the government <laughs> and we're our karen's probably in double trouble right now oh 
Oh. Like, where does this stitch? I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Well, oh. usually I just, usually I just let her do the talking. You know, she's, she's, she's pretty funny. I, 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 I like hanging out with her. You know, she's, she's, she's yeah. all of funny stories. Just don't and... like tell her anything about how your powers work because then, oh. you know, next thing we know, the men in black are going to come get you. No, not the men in black. That yes. would be terrible. I mean, yes. if they, I mean. The G-men. No, what? I mean, they're, they're, oh, oh yes, gosh, Men okay. in Black. That's also a good movie. I'll add that to the list. <sighs> yeah, maybe not the third one. That one wasn't that good. No, we'll just we'll just stick with the first ones for all of these. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I I will I will make sure not to 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 share that information with her though. She's seen me use my powers before. Yeah, but you just don't explain to her how they work, Lisa. I don't even know how they work. Okay, I mean, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> the yeah, less that's... you know, the better, because then you can't tell her. But I, I, I mean, sh- she's nice, but she's just a stitch. I just, I've been trying to learn more about them because I, I don't want another repeat of a Skull. I, I, I feel so... I told him that you've been practicing. Yeah, I, you know, like, I kind of feel bad, but I kind of don't. Like, maybe he shouldn't have been standing there. Like, you know, like, maybe, you know... I mean, it's that not my is fault. True. It's not you my were, fault. You were honest that you didn't have them fully under control yet. And I so imagine everybody around you took the risk. <laughs> imagine now that this conversation with Moonshadow is going on, Skull is like over by the Pop Tarts sulking because yes. Moonshadow is here, and then yeah. Iron Vamp is seeing Skull sulk, which is probably like a whole other thing going on. Iron Vamp is <laughs> yeah. like taking notes. Yeah, copies, yeah, yeah. copies notes. This He's is like, how. Oh to be dark and you know yeah. and this is what will attract moon shadow perfect perfect <laughs> next, yeah. next time we see mm-hmm. iron ram he's gonna have like the swoopy emo hair <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> he's, like, he's over there he's over there sulking with um with he's skull. Sulking with skull he's, he's like, they're sulking skull. together he's just like mm. yeah mm. <laughs> and, and i think black eating pop tarts karen They're yeah like, Making oh, sure that Karen's okay. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. She yeah. walks over to her and and she approaches her. Hey, Karen. Um, so tell me all about the va- the. Sorry, vampires. Tell me that's another. That's a whole nother session. Gosh, no. Um, tell me <laughs> next all about week. The, yeah, the I think it's like the week after. I don't know, but you know, tell me all about the aliens. So we did catch them on our radar. We saw something that we didn't, weren't able to get a lot of information. We just saw that they were heading towards, um, you know, uh, our planet. Um, very scared. Don't worry, I've got evacuations already started in place. We don't want you know uh, anything bad happen to the citizens. But uh, any anything we should know about the, the aliens? They're just they're just bad guys. What's 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 uh what's the deal? And she looks around at all of you, kind of like like anyone, somebody like what like what's going on? Um, uh, uh, Karen is like she's not saying a word. She's just like. <laughs> Oh, I'm, mm, I'm so hungry. And she just like popped our <laughs> untoasted pop tart after pop tart, just like consuming, open another package. Like she's just keeping going. She's like, oh, oh. yeah, aliens. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, hey, oh, Karen. now, Karen, we know this is going to be difficult for you, but don't yeah. give yourself a tummy ache eating all those pop tarts. Uh, yeah. th- is there anything we can do to help while you tell us what you know? Uh, well, uh, there, we, I guess all, 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 all we need to know is we must defeat them. They are bad, evil, terrible aliens. Hey, Karen, you know, it's okay. I understand how you feel. Last time I saw my ex, I had to just headbutt him. So I get it. Headbutt. And then I, then I like just ate a bunch of junk food afterwards. Oh, it's always good to have a good snack after you headbutt someone. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think I'll be able to headbutt him and her after I oh, eat all of these pop tarts? It's, it's two ex partners. Oh, Your um, life is so interesting. Well, it's um, it's no, I don't know them. We don't have any connection together. I just heard stories about how bad they are 
Uh-huh. You are a terrible liar. Can we yeah. can we roll for empathy or something here? Just yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Roll, yeah. I want to roll yeah. empathy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's let's roll for once. <laughs> Two of yeah. you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. Yeah. Let's do. No. Let's, no. No. That's let's, not. Let's, that's, <laughs> that was not a dig on you. That was us. We were just fuck. We we're honestly just fucking. Around. We're just having. We're, a good we're time. having so much fun talking about pop tarts and I and ex, ex people. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so we Let's just roll. Say, what do we yeah. do? So we'll have uh, so we'll have two of you. Uh, we'll have two of you roll for empathy. Who are? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I would um, I would love to roll on empathy if you don't mind. That'd be really good, don't you know? And we just roll. <laughs> I I think I would also roll for empathy as well. Yeah. Um, I was. Okay. Oh, do you want to do it instead? No, no, it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, because I got a six. Yeah, yeah. you t- <laughs> so- take that. So you roll a d6 and add your, your modifier? Yes. Yeah. Plus your modifier. Eight. That's okay. an eight. I got a seven. Well, that's above a 10. So um, good job, guys. <laughs> so with that. Above a 10? Yeah, we just, we got to get the above to- The total, oh, total. has to be a 10. Total has yeah. to be above, <laughs> yeah, total has to be above a 10. I'm not going to add it. I'm like, I know that's above a 10. Um, that's the number we're trying to hit as our magic number is 10. We definitely hit over that. And you are able to uh, to pick up on that. You're like, oh my gosh, Lisa's theory is not some wild fanfic. Like there is definitely like truth to this. How you're like, it's uncanny how Lisa did that. You're just like, wow you catch the vibes that like all of this stuff that lisa's been talking which usually seems like very fanfic and like fictional you're just like oh my god there's like a look like a knowing look at lisa like what (laughs) i I think that like (laughs) oh if you read through my fan fiction you'll realize a lot of the stuff that i wrote before has actually happened i am a divider yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) it's it's kind of crazy and like usually people are like yeah okay but this is like tangible proof and people are just like what <laughs> like, you have to have a lot of emotional intelligence in order to be a good writer of fanfic and so it doesn't surprise me but i think you've nailed this one lisa i think i think oh, it's you. i think she i think karen is definitely lying and they're yeah. totally dating whoever is or ex or stop dating or whatever there's some emotional yeah. baggage there i can tell yeah yeah <laughs> and now the emotional baggage is coming to destroy earth are they coming to destroy Earth? Karen? Or at least or at least the city because Carrot is here. Well, it's um, like a plane of emotional baggage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's um you see just she she's just like like uh, she just looks like caught red-handed. <laughs> like a look of caught red-handed on her face. And um and it is at that moment when um Blackbird uh, kind of pipes up. Well, maybe we can, maybe we can intercept them. Maybe we can get them, but before they get to us, you know, we we know their location. We have, um, we can we can see them on the radar. Uh, Karen's radar probably is even better. Will you, uh, you can share your radar with us, Karen, and we can see where they're coming from. I, I would, and... Karen, Karen, I would do that. <laughs> I would so don't sorry. do that, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> and we can um you know we can then we can you know we can surprise them and prevent them from getting to the the city and and protect the city and our our beautiful friends here and um right um Karen kind of like uh looks over to Blackbird um and it's just like wide eyed like giving her a look of like the audacity right now <laughs> like, you're, like, you're too you're too eager what's wrong what is it yeah what is this? <laughs> yeah like blackbird thinks blackbird definitely thinks that they are like this but karen is just like what like i don't know you <laughs> like she's just like oh my god it's total mean girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it's just like excuse you <laughs> who, who um, gave you permission to talk to me yeah 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 oh yeah blackbird 
Yeah, and uh, Ivor's trying, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. Ivor's trying. Trying. So sorry. It's, it's like that, that <laughs> one thing about the government, and I've turned everybody because Blackbird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Le- Le- uh, uh, Moon Shadow kind of pipes up, and it's just like, oh, that is a great idea. We can, we can, uh, we can, uh, you know, we can, we can intercept them before they can get to us. I love that idea. Super supportive of the idea. So, um. It, what do you all think would you um there's kind of like a conflict here in that we can either send them out to kind of you know meet up with the threat that's incoming or um we can wait for the threat to arrive um, um with with moon shadow piping up uh i'm pretty sure iron vamp would side with moon shadow and uh blackbird 100% all right. Skull's gonna look to see what Karen wants to do. Does does Karen seem excited about this? Karen is just like Pop Tarts, like still like she's emotional. anxious eating my baby. <laughs> emotional, yeah. emotional eating. I totally get it. I totally, mm, get it. Absolutely. totally. Um, she's just like um, maybe they're gonna divert. Maybe they're not coming here at all. You know, maybe they're. You know, she's she's still like she's still on that. Um, that uh that thing of uh like they're not here for denial. me like yeah she's still in denial like she's <laughs> she's just hey, like Karen I don't mean to be rude but it's time to face reality sis oh like, I agree I think you should go and face this head on if you wait yeah. it's just gonna fester inside and it's gonna get all dark and oh that's gonna be bad yes I should see Jet ski, I should learn how to use the public transportation. No. no. Oh my god, that's not nobody said. How did, that. How did we get oh, that is I, not how did what are what, you talking like, I don't, about? Jet ski's gonna take all of the Pop Tarts from her and go, no more Pop Tarts for you. Yeah. No, Karen, you need to face your ex-partners, okay? You have to have this confrontation it's clear that maybe some things were left unsaid and so you're just going to have to you know face your past and your fears if not for you then for the good of the city and then if they turn out to be dickholes you just headbutt them okay head head but do i does that mean my head no, goes no. to their Let me show you. <laughs> you, you, you read your head back and then you bash it into their head. Into their head. Okay. You know, the internet exists. You should maybe like start. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Exact hold on, hold on. conversation with Iron Vamp. Have you put on the parental <laughs> safety tools on their internet stuff? Oh, yes, but I'm pretty sure she just like steps on it. So like there's a good chance that she breaks it. And then I tried to oh. do a Google once, but I broke the keyboard. Oh, Don't you're Lisa, very strong. Lisa, do not teach her new words. <laughs> what? Well, why not? Because she will Google them. And then the Google will not be what you think it is. Okay. Oh yeah, rule 34. Like, okay, just all your fanfics. Okay, Jessica, I definitely won't teach her how to use the internet. And that was and like the head, best I'm just thing. like, I'm going to teach her how to use the internet. But the Google <laughs> is the all-knowing database of humankind. I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a toss-up. Does it know a lot? Yes. But do people also put a lot of junk on the internet that comes up in the Google result? Also, yes. I, I understand. It's it. like... <laughs> Yes, I have Justine Google things for me regularly. Right, Justine, you Google those things for me that I ask you about. Of course, the- I, I do. And I, I straight up am lying because I just tell them stuff Yeah, without he- Googling it. <laughs> yes, Justine is an expert at um, uh, using the, uh, the Google know, base uh-huh. of you the know Google. You also great at Googling things? Mood Shadow. Yes. Oh, he like looks over to Moon Shadow. <laughs> um, My Google just talked and went, sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> just, uh, stop they're listening all- to my conversations. They're, they're always listening. Always they're listening. the government. <laughs> I, I know. That's why I won't allow them in my house. 
you know Google which is better government. like having easy access to your songs where you can just say stuff or have the government listening to you and you know what the government you can listen to my shit there's nothing happening so it's fine Oh, Back. Skull and I have got the, the best Spotify playlist, and I would be more than happy to share that with the entire government. With the entire government of the planet, exactly. <laughs> oh, All of them. Skull's Every playlist. I, I think I would like Skull's playlist. And Skull probably looks incredibly uncomfortable because I'm, I'm <laughs> sure Skull's playlist is like teen pop. And, yeah, uh, Swift, and like full like, bops, Britney Spears. Spears. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, just, yeah it's, <laughs> it's just Taylor's version all throughout. You know, <laughs> yeah. I think Mood Shadow would also like that playlist. I, I think Iron Vamp would probably like that playlist if he oh, if yeah, he'd for want sure. to listen to it. But he'd he'd take one look at the Canadian folk rock and just balk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back in the good old days when we didn't like the government, we would. <laughs> <laughs> we would pull out the guillotine. <laughs> Are you French now? No, we're not doing that. And uh, let's go ahead and maybe we should take a break. How are, how are you all feeling? You really like a break? Or uh, maybe we can finally fight the aliens. <laughs> when we come back from our break, the aliens arrive. Or maybe, maybe we'll no, be we'll, sent off to we'll, them. We'll just keep, no, we're just going to keep fucking around. The world gets destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> the world is just falling apart around you. <laughs> like we're all talking about Bob Tarts. It's and, bad. <laughs> right? And, and die as we lived, full of sugar. <laughs> We uh, we do have a giveaway as well. So if you'd like to enter into our raffle that we have for a $20 Die Hard Dice voucher, go ahead and type super in the chat. Um, do it only once or you will be disqualified, however. And keep an eye out for Halfly Nikki to message you on Twitch Whispers so that uh, she can collect your email address. So make sure that you type super in the chat. Be part of that giveaway. Thank you all for the donations that have come in. We will take a break, get some drinks, get some snacks, stretch your legs. And uh, we will all be back shortly. Thank you for joining us. And now the awkward moment where we just keep waving. We just.
All right, welcome back. So uh, Maverick2, congrats to you. You've won the giveaway. Uh, we will need your email address for, uh, uh, which I believe uh, Nikki will send you a message. Um, we can give, give so that way we can go ahead and get the uh, the prize over to you. And um, yeah, thank you all for joining us today. We're here for Critical Causes, uh, put together by women of D&D, &D, uh, uh, streaming for survivors. and. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, if you're able to donate to the cause, it's it's going to help out um, survivors out there. Um, $35 funds an hour of crisis line support, uh, $60 will fund an hour of counseling for a survivor, and $150 will fund a hospital accompaniment for a survivor. So really, really helpful stuff that is needed out there. So um, yeah, without uh, further waiting, we will go ahead and get back into the game. And uh, we left off with our superheroes and their best friends, <laughs> their confidants, um, gathered around a pop torts coffee, and there's an impending uh, alien threat which is uh, upon them. So, um, with that, um, Blackbird gets a message on her other cell phone and answers it, and she kind of walks away for a moment and, um, kind of comes back and is in a bit of a panic um they're 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 breaching the the atmosphere we need to go ahead and 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 get out there as soon as possible so we can stop any destruction um from coming to the city okay. so okay should... this is not a drill everyone <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're saying as we're running yeah. into like the, the medic room again and gr like grabbing like their their to go kit on like the, the the meds to go meds to go i don't know <laughs> her med back yeah yeah yeah. and she just like follows you just like to go get ready like you know what she needs you got her and and you know getting uh her stuff to get ready and um the other supers kind of they kind of like you know kind of like oh like like shit is getting real like <laughs> okay yeah. we're doing this they all you notice kind of their demeanor all changing as you know everyone getting ready in their own kind of way um you see karen just zoom out of like she's gone <laughs> like a pop tart falls down behind her as she flies away and <laughs> um you 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 get a, a message to you jet ski um the little holographic kind of pops up as your device flips open I'm, I'm, I'm gonna head out there uh uh you, lisa was right i should or was it edna or justine or i i should i should face i should face this head on and i don't mean the public transportation <laughs> and she's like flying out of there and and this time it um it closes uh it closes before you can get a, a response in and yes yeah like super serious business now you know she's like okay like i gotta do what i gotta do and um skull and um uh skull and i'm an iron vamp um uh, uh, we lost jet ski we lost that <gasps> way oh no jet ski has run okay. off to go also to fall, collect surprise they're like yeah. i need to go get some gadgets you know they yep. run off to go get some gadgets yeah. they're, they're like i gotta they, they went to go check they went to go check the bus stop just in case <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll be back. We'll be right back. We'll, we'll be, be back. Right back as we find fun way getting their gadgets. <laughs>
All right. Well, Jet Ski found their gadgets and we are back in business. <laughs> so hooray for that. <laughs> Karen took off and is gone. Pop-Tarts flying behind them. And uh, the other supers all start to get ready. We've got uh, Justine and uh, Iron Vamp over in the corner. He's still kind of sulking a little bit, but like a little less as uh, Justine is giving those affirmations. <laughs> Basically, this is this is how uh, Justine and uh, Iron Vamp prepare. It's just affirmations of like, you could do this. You've survived for so long. You can survive again. You're fine. You have this really great um, suit that was made for you. You're awesome and dark and gritty. Just keep an eye on Skull. That's This is what you are meant to do. And don't eat people. That's pretty much the last part. Don't eat people. At that part, he's just like, yes, do not eat people. Vampires are not, or uh, aliens are not people, though. Correct? Am I? I, I, to... I wouldn't try it just because you don't know whether their blood will be good for you. Um, I, oh. I wouldn't try it. Do you think their blood may perhaps be malnutritious? I, I don't think that's the case. It might be poisonous because you don't know. What if remember, it me more remember power? that time you tried to bite Karen? And you just you just didn't like the smell of it. That's not good. I think That's Ren right. like pops pops their head out and like, hey, catch and like tosses a juice bag, aka a little blood bag for a little like free sun straw. <laughs> Ren Ren is the other person that I know for the blood. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I then think... pops their head back in and finish making their, their As bag. You like head back in and like you miss his he like bows to you like I, I, uh, many thanks to you, Ren. <laughs> Lisa pops her head in and, and they're like, you know, um, you eat people uh, consensually. You got to ask consent first. Oh, so I, I always, yes, Justine has, has, uh, has taught me a lot about that. Um, I always make sure that uh, blood is acquired consensually, right? Yeah. Justine, you, you acquire it consensually. Yes, for of me. course, always consensually. And um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ethically, ethically yes. farmed, ethically blood. sourced. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> also, I'm going to send you. Yeah. Yes, and, in moderation. And organic as well. Yeah. Yes, also, they live gonna, freely. Yeah. Also, Not I'm going to send you an Excel spreadsheet of Moon Shadow's favorite restaurants. Oh, that he bows to you. My many thanks to you as well, Lisa. My, uh, you are. I, I, I greatly, deeply appreciate you so very much. I make this list and I send it to, to both <laughs> Iron Van and Skull. Uh, and Skull's <laughs> like, I don't need this. Yeah. Skull's like looking at and just like looks over at Edna, and he's just like, listen, that's. I... <laughs> for later like this is this is the day this is the day that all of these problems are going to be sorted out i kind of wish we had talked to our therapist before today and i'd gotten some more oh it's going to be fine it's going to be fine see you're all set to go everything's going to be great when you get out there remember you're there you're there for karen you're there for what she needs yeah, and you're karen. gonna be awesome right yeah awesome for karen I like my therapist. She's she's really nice and she has a nice fluffy pink couch. It's very soft. Aww. And yeah. Aww. For Karen, we're gonna For she's, Karen, yep. She's my friend. Yep. You're gonna be there and support her emotionally. And then if she if she does need to go attack these other aliens, you're gonna be there with your claws and your teeth. And then afterwards we'll get you all cleaned up and maybe it'll be it'll finally be time to go ahead and do that dye job we've been talking about. You know, don't you know it's gonna look so good? With, with Lisa, do do you think I could pull it off? He oh, like looks absolutely. over to Lisa, and he's just like, you see, like little blush on oh, his cheeks. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I wasn't just saying that just to say it. I think it would look really good on you. You see, like a wide grin, like a wild, like wide. I'll help. Wild. I will help you. <laughs> I will help you. Oh, it's a date then. Oh, you're gonna go save the world, and then we're gonna we're gonna make you look all pretty, like the way you want. I get the werewolf boyfriend at the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think as like they're having this conversation, I think Elisa turns to like 
like the others uh, like everybody else is like can aliens get turned into werewolves that would be a great story to write <laughs> and with that he's gone he's gone on his way <laughs> You hear a roar in the distance. <laughs> a deep roar. Mm-hmm. Not one I can do. <laughs> oh, you're so scary. Yes, that's that's the one from the gut. From the gut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Iron Vamp. As soon as Skull is gone, Iron Vamp is just machine sounds. Choo, 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 gone. <laughs> like flying. See you, bud. You can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> and uh, Blackbird. uh looking around they are they and Sha- moon shadow are the only one left and um moon shadow kind of looks like they've been kind of waiting for blackbird like you know we could we could go together you know like oh that's sweet you know like all right blackbird you got your 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 stabilizers in you have your 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 all your weapons you have your things blah 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 blah, blah. go 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 <laughs> mood beep do you have your lunch sack that i packed for you oh oh yes my lunch and she like holds up this like just beautiful like rainbow and design like very ornate yeah. lunch sack it's and hella lisa frank <laughs> yeah oh yeah it's yeah. got it's got like that the uh what is it like was it a cheetah or a tiger that they've got you know i mean i think it's both. it both yeah <laughs> i think it depends yeah. on which one you're looking at yeah yeah right, yeah. right like a dolphin right. Yeah, with a dolphin yeah. in the background, like over a rainbow, and there's like yeah. a unicorn too, and it's yeah. you know it's got the whole thing going on. And the thermos has a unicorn on it. And yes, it's filled with your favorite juice. Oh, my favorite juice! Oh, yes, apple. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> I um I think um you sh- your friend Claire likes apple juice too. I think you said. Oh, yeah. You guys have a lot in common. I keep trying to get you to meet, but you both are busy all the time. Oh, yeah. She, she sounds like such a, a, you know, busy. She's got a lot going on. I, I, I respect it. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I, just want my two, I just want my two friends to meet and be friends with each other. So I don't have to, you know, split my time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, split your time. <laughs> and with that, she's just like, you see like a um like a, a troubled look. If uh if you'd like to roll some empathy, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> oh god, please let me roll poorly. <laughs> oh, what's my th- um uh, empathy is a one, so I got a five. <laughs> a five. Okay. You can we, can we also roll to, to be there and like look Oh yeah, because like... you're both there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're both kind of like interacting here. Yeah, go for it. That is going to be a six. A six. Okay, that is a five and a six. That's an eleven, which is over ten. So uh, we'll we'll say it plays out like this. Like Lisa is kind of like doesn't really catch the 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 like internal conflict that <laughs> Shadow's got going on. Like, yeah, split your time. Like, yeah. But like Ren, uh, Ren picks up on that, like, oh, sh-. like, you know, so you can do with that information what you will, Ren, if you'd like to impart that upon Lisa. And with that, Blackbird and Moonshadow <laughs> take off. There's like a glittery moon kind of, you know, in left behind and it's very sparkly. And um, yeah. the two kind of take off um, together. Moonshadow did her 60 second transformation before she died. Oh, yes. So of course. Knows, sorry. She, nobody she, get to see, gets to see it. She did. Yeah. She did it There's before. A, yeah. It was like, it's a whole thing. So she's trying to be like considerate, you know, and, you know, she's like, I don't want to make them wait. She definitely also kind of did it. She was like trying to impress Blackbird a little bit. She's like, you know, I should like, I should show her this really cool. And she like did it like extra. There was extra sparkle. It was 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 a little, it was a minute 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, oh, like, no. it was a little bit longer. She was like, look at this. And she does her whole routine. And and she added her own sound effects, too, to it. So. Oh, my God. Which she was, oh, like, yes. making with her mouth and stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
like yeah it was <laughs> it was the whole thing <laughs> she's got her phone playing that that song that's yes. the, the background music for the whole thing it's great yeah definitely that's why they both came in together so late because you know <laughs> and they were doing that <laughs> with mouth percussions <laughs> <and> <laughs> like, <laughs> yes <laughs> i just so was really using her <laughs> the flashlight on her phone to like yes, just to light it all like up spotlight there we yes. go Yes. Absolutely. It's kind of like one of those RGB settings where you just tap it and it turns different colors. Like <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, exactly. yes, yes, definitely. You definitely she was she was also busy admiring it. She was not taking note of how and what she was doing. She was just like in awe, like, wow. Oh. See, like, everything you say about black uh Blackbird yeah. is making us very suspicious. She has yeah, a burner Momo, phone. Momo yeah. trying to walk back. She has a burner Momo phone. Trying to walk back everything she's, that they said. Like talk to the government. This this Blackbird is is oh, something we have to pay attention. Blackbird's absolutely taking samples of the glitter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the sequel this is when we have the yeah. the heroic ending and everybody's happy and then you know to be continued and it's gonna then be have the trail. it's a marvel <laughs> cut scene like at the end it's like those in credits sort of yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and it's just it's blackbird in her own little office you know and she's like wearing like some kind of business attire and she's just like you see the the messaging and it's like i've got the data or something <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but she says it in but she's sending it in an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, in an Excel spreadsheet. Response. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's because she asked uh, Justine how to send secret messages. Oh, and she's I like, guess. just open this Excel file. Of right, 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 right. <laughs> 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 and as they take off uh, our uh, supers, who can all fly, you know, um, they're, they, they're all on the scene at... Uh, kind of a far away location outside of the city um there's like this kind of a desert area that uh, they find the spaceship that is just uh landed and a uh, spaceship lands and uh, a couple of aliens get out and all of you have some very awesome high-tech gadgetry thanks to uh the collaborative uh uh, forces of jet ski and Lisa kind of coming together so all of you get like audio and video of what's going on and you can see everything the the We're gadgets just, oh, your drone footage is so good yeah oh, thank you so really much. awesome yeah and all of the devices that they wear that you can see this like it's like very gadgety but it's like very like rainbow and printed and like colorful <laughs> <laughs> like and they've all got this because it was like the forces joining of of jet ski and lisa and you watch as um they arrive on the scene and these uh two aliens um walk out of this like crazy looking uh spaceship and uh that's like glowing with rgb and stuff and uh it's a uh what looks like a lady and a gentleman alien walking down very beautiful aliens you're like whoa they're 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 like glowing and they look really freaking cool and karen is kind of like trying to make her way up to them but kind of not and just kind of you know um you know, freaking out a little bit. Uh, jet ski, you see as Karen pulls out um, one of your gadgets that you haven't been able to find lately that's gone missing. And you see this and you all, you all kind of, I meant you all are in like your operations room, you know, like your mission room. And you can all like, you can look over and see each other's screens, but your screen like focuses on your super. So there is like, you see your hand come out and you see the gadget and you're just like, that's where that is, you know, and she's trying to work on it, but she can't. She's just like, okay, I, this thing is supposed to be really powerful. Jet ski made this. So it's infallible. So I, if I just can figure it out, I can, I can send these two packing as like, she just kind of like loudly thinking to, to herself, just like trying to go through this with the, with the gadget. You see her turn around to the back. She's like, maybe there's a, Open sesame. Maybe it hey, needs Red. to. Um... Did you pass the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like trying to figure this out. And as she's trying, she's like fumbling with that, trying to figure it out. You guys just watch. She's continuing to do that. Um, 
we've got um iron vamp who um sometimes like um like y- you kind of get the vibe that he kind of uh presents himself as the leader of the group here you know steps forward and Great. Asin is is really <laughs> shaking her head at this every time he tries to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, <laughs> aliens from the outsides of space. He totally fumbled it. He fumbled it so hard. I what, know, right? What dost thou doing here this fine, beautiful day? Why oh God. dare you interrupt our tarts that which pop and are oh pressos can he can hear I, me yes if I tell, yes um vamp uh bud just tell them why they're just ask them why they're here no he need will, to tell them about the you see tarts. him look over to moonshadow you watch this because you can see you would see him look over to moonshadow his camera looks over to moonshadow and who's who's talking to blackbird doesn't really notice what, what he's that oh he's my looking God. Oh, just ask Moon, them what I, you're doing did here. I do, did I do? Did I do? You did well, but it you was... don't want to mention the pop tarts. Just ask him what they're doing here, bud. What are you doing here this day, aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You are doing so good, bud. Camera looks the back best. over to Moonshadow. <laughs> Moonshadow, stop talking to Blackbird. Focus up. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've been working, and and you hear as as she she's whispering, Lisa, and you like kind of can't tell like is she whispering it to you or is she whispering it to Blackbird like so I've been working on this new moon thing it's gonna be really cool I think I've got it down I've been practicing and the moon be- thing like what like your transformation it's, it's that it's, you've never let me see but you let Blackbird see no I um well it's um I um Roma well. <laughs> I just, I thought it would be a good idea for Claire to be there, you know, and the three of us could experience it together, you know, uh, uh, as a, you know, like bonding thing of your other best friend and me, your best friend. And, you know, Uh like we could all three be besties friends together. I mean, that sounds like everything I've been trying to, I've been asking for. Moo Shadow, and we can absolutely discuss this more later. But okay. I mean, there is an alien threat, and so talking with Blackbird, she's kind of distracting you. Maybe you should go stand next to Iron Vamp. I, I, Iron Vamp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, do you think he's gonna be okay with that? He seems kind of, you know. No, he's totally into it. Okay. And she, she I would uh, offer a crisp high five to Lisa. <sighs> I would yeah, just be like, I, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are really trying to get them together, aren't y'all? Oh, yeah. Hi. You, mm-hmm. you watch as a uh, moon shadow walks over to Iron Vamp. You see, like, she's she's standing behind him, looking up at, like, he's, like, very looming. He has a very looming presence. And you watch, she, like, looks o- back over to Blackbird, who, like, kind of waves, like, at her. Um, and then she looks back over to, to Iron. She's like, all right, Lisa, I am in position next to Iron Vamp. Okay, perfect. Now, like just back his play, but also make sure he doesn't fumble the ball. <laughs> okay, I got this. And, and I uh, whisper to uh, Iron Vamp, "Hey, uh, but <sighs> Moonshadow is relying on you right now to do your best. <laughs> she's right there, so you can do this." Okay. Oh, this she's... is just. We're not fighting aliens. We're just hooking up. Our <laughs> and I think with that, I think I think I'm going to say to Blackbird, like Blackbird, I know you and Shadow were talking a lot, but like the other two, Justine and Lisa are trying to get like Iron Vamp and Moon Shadow together. Like, I know you have your beef with like Iron Vamp. I know, I don't know, but like, just let them, let them do your thing. Help, help them out. <laughs> be our, she, be, you, be our, our helper on the field. Be our wingman in the field. <laughs> You, you, uh, you hear, you hear her like whispering into her other phone and you hear, you're just like, no, that can't be possible. They can't, they can't know who I really am. There's no, oh my my God. No, that, that, that information cannot get leaked. You have to do everything you can to stop it. And then she's what iron vamp. Yeah. Um, a great guy. Yeah. Um, iron vamp. Super cool. Yeah. Um, love it. Yeah. Iron vamp. Mm -hmm. Go iron vamp. Did we all hear that? Uh, yeah, I, I, you all heard that. <laughs> oh my god! I just start making new identities for everybody right now while we're <laughs> waiting. 
<laughs> and oh, with- oh, Lisa, thanks for that because um, I'm I'm pretty sure that maybe Skull is gonna want something that's a little less dark the next time. But yeah. oh, 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 yeah, and Skull. Um, Go ahead and get yourself in position. It looks like everybody's backing Iron Vamp there. So you you gotta be and, and Moon Shadow, so you gotta be ready, okay? Moon Shadow. Okay, but only because we're doing this for Karen. Why is she standing so close to Iron Vamp? He's I thought he said that I was his best friend. Well, you know, there's a difference between friends and potential uh, friends with benefits, and there might be some other stuff going on there. We can talk about that later, but but for now, I would like team. benefits. <laughs> and you watch him like go stand well, over next to insur- <laughs> He wants health insurance. <laughs> he wants a good dental plan. Don't right. we all? I mean, right. Everybody, he, yeah. he has to have one. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, have you ever tried to clean those chompers? Those are a lot. Yeah. But also, I mean, if he's talking about other benefits, I, I can make that happen. Maybe, hopefully, if everybody's consenting, of course. <laughs> he goes and stands next to, instead of standing like behind uh, Iron Vamp, he stands next to Iron Vamp and just like looks back at and Moonshadow. You see his camera kind of look back at Moonshadow and then look forward. Yeah, aliens, why are you here? You need to leave because... This whole time, the aliens are just standing there. So yeah, like, they, yeah, they're really confused. No, like they are. They get off their ship and they're just like, you see them like kind of talk. You you get glimpses of them kind of talking amongst themselves. You can't really understand their, their alien language. And Karen's just like freaking out with that gadget still. Like, oh God, this has got to, this is, this. I, oh my God, go I can't wait to see where this gadget is. It's probably and, just a curling iron. <laughs> it's this. If I use this, I can send them to another dimension and then they'll be gone. And and then um so basically <laughs> so basically um yeah like this you know it's funny like this happens in like every one of my games like I have the running joke in my other campaign why why does it always get turned into a dating sim <laughs> like, because that's always... honestly what makes it the most fun <laughs> pretty much chat, right? in You're the right. chat uh, right. <laughs> we are acknowledging that super dylan wrote this this is just how it's yeah. meant to be oh exactly. okay there we go yeah yeah, yeah. it happens in every <clears throat> like everything that i dm too i'm just like okay <laughs> It was meant to be, I guess. Like, so they're like fumbling. Um, Karen's fumbling with that still. Like, oh my god, what? Send them to the another dimension with this thing. That's gotta work, and then they'll be gone, and they won't be here. And um, the aliens um, kind of come forward, and as they do, Iron Vamp goes to like you watch as he goes to like push a button on his suit, which you know is like a um, it's like basically can send like lasers just flying to just like oh blow God. something up and <laughs> as he goes to press it like nothing happens and you see this justine and he keeps pressing it like repeatedly like click 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 like just saying just saying it's not it's not it's not working why um why doth my button not work did he charge it did you, did you, you told him did to you charge, charge it? it i charge i asked you to charge your your suit last night. So, Did you charge everything? So to so to so Justine and someone else, if you'd like to go roll some brains. Oh my god, I will me. roll with you. Oh no, my <laughs> brains is really low. Um, uh, um Jesse, hold on. We need to figure out what's going on. You can and we, can I have fix? I have three in brains. Ooh. I was going to use the lasers to to blast them to smithereens. Oh, I think Justine but, also had jet ski rather. Okay, yeah. But it's it's not. It's not responding. I rolled a, a five plus my one brain, so that's six and six. And do you want jet ski or Lisa to roll? Does it okay? I think we could go with yeah. Um, I got a seven. Wait, oh. um, yes, yeah, seven. Oh, I'm not eating my own super. Okay, yes, yeah, seven. All right, all right. So that is over 10. So is t- so go ahead and let me know what you're doing to like you, to support you, him i yeah. would say hey uh bud you know how sometimes it gets stuck i want you to hit the side of the button just okay. hit it real hard and the then side. it'll get unstuck and it should work just fine okay um okay and you watch as he just like bangs the side of it and then 
he doesn't touch the button, but he bangs the side of it and lasers just go flying off into the, oh. the sky. The, the two <laughs> aliens have, and they kind of explode, like kind of like fireworks a little bit up in the sky. And the two aliens kind of look and they look uh, back at him. And was that necessary? Yeah, I and, think I, I lean over to Justin. I'm like, did the aliens attack? Why is he just going? Why not even God's know. Blazing? But at least they know that... Um, Iron Man is dangerous. Yeah, I think okay. at least them going. What are you it's doing a, here? And then was a warning brr, shot. Brr, brr. Yeah. yeah. Um, and oh. as 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 that happens, the um, the uh, aliens are just like, are, was that necessary? We are here for Karen. Hand Karen over, and no one will get hurt. And Karen is still fumbling. Uh, Jesse, I need some help. I need I need to use this device. It's 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 going to send them back to the other dimension, right? That's what that's what it does, right? That that's that's what it does. I need to I need to send them away from from here. We can't have uh, and you hear like the names, but they're in that alien language that like you humans are unable to repeat and you're just like oh that must be their names like just like her name was re- that's really kind of crazy it's, this is going to send them back and and you look at the, the device in her hands and she has like one of those crazy big calculators that she's just been like mashing on it is it is like it, it is it is customized by jet ski yeah, <laughs> so has, jet ski you can let me know what it does it. you can let me know what it does <laughs> so (laughs) the the calculator um instead of just being like one of those regular calculators it can activate all of the like the tech and the gadgets in the um in the headquarters but like (laughs) nothing that's there it's a universal remote it's yes. a universal room. Oh my god. And it's I like fuck. too far away from the headquarters yeah. to be doing anything. Got it. Or like or like there's like in a, a closet somewhere a light just keeps turning off and on. <laughs> uh-huh. and on. In, yeah. in like our living room, the TV turns on, on and turns yeah. off. She yeah. has our she has the our smart home remote. Oh my god. <laughs> Jetski, why is it not sending them back? I you, keep pointing it at them and it's you that's the remote, Karen. That's the remote. I have the remote and I will use it if you don't come back from where you came from. Come back? Go back. Go back. Don't come back. Don't. You're not supposed to come back. Hey, Moon Shadow, can you ask the aliens what they want Karen for? Oh, oh, yeah. I can. I can. I can I can do that. Um, so so go ahead and uh, jet ski and Lisa, uh, go ahead and uh, let's roll an empathy to to assist a moon shadow with this. <laughs> okay, I got a five. Ooh. You said empathy. Yeah. I lost my page where it says what empathy I have. Oh, you oh, yeah. empathy, empathy is one plus yeah, one. Okay, plus one. so then I got a seven. All right. Okay. That is above a ten. So um, you're able to kind of, you know, uh, talk like like talk her up to like talk with these these aliens, and she kind of steps around um, Iron Vamp um, in front and. Um, hi, I'm Moon Shadow. Um, and she's all like glitterly and sparkly. No, she, um, I, um, why, why, why do you want Karen? Um, you know, she, this is her home now. So, um, you just looking to hang out or, um, you know, um, we, we, we don't have to fight. We can just, we can just all go back to our place and we can hang out, you know, um, well, we tell have- them we've got pop tarts. Yeah, Pop Tarts. We've got Pop Tarts, and the aliens kind of look at each other, and they look over at um, at Moon Shadow, kind of confused, and then over to uh, Karen, who's now um, hiding behind Iron Vamp, kind of like peeking over the shoulder, but like hiding behind. Um, and the aliens are like, "Well, um, Karen." What's it? 
are you referring to and then you hear the alien name come out and she she just confirms like oh yeah her her name's karen now um very scary powerful um nobody really likes a name but it's her name now it's a scary it's a powerful name that invokes a, terror in it's people. a powerful title it's a title yeah. title title yeah. that invokes terror managers and- quake in fear when they hear it <laughs> and the aliens- were you a manager at some point to the two aliens <laughs> the- yeah that well, we're not there <laughs> so we're just talking <laughs> i was just, like staring at I, the, see, the screen ask, ask you- them if they were managers at some point vamp but we're state if you were managers at some point in your uh lives <laughs> and they're just like career. yeah you're illustrious career. and they just kind of look at each other like what what is it this manager that you speak of is it some kind of um it's like a supervisor but like a step above that say that mood shadow <laughs> Oh, it's like a supervisor, but you know, it's it's like it's like a step above that. But if you're <laughs> if you're not here to um to fight and they kind of look and they're just like, why would we we're not here to fight K- K- Karen? And they look at Karen like confusedly, like, we're here to fight them. Like Karen is um Karen is uh a like well, it's it's kind of complicated, but and then Karen comes out and just like uh, shouts at the top of their lungs, still pointing the remote at them, and and is just like, no, I uh, I I'm gonna send you back. You're you're you weren't supposed to come back to me. And she's like, just starts like oh sobbing, <laughs> like a like a hot mess, right? And um. <laughs> They're just like, okay, like, do, do, do you want us to go then? Because we're so confused. We Everything was happy and fine. Oh and <laughs> Carrot ghosted, ghosted them. them. And then you just. I wrote this in my fanfic. You were gone. And um, we were very worried about you. So we came to find you. And this place is strange. I don't know why you would want to live on such a. Quaint planet, as they're like looking around and kind of like Quaint. disgust. Um, I mean, is is this what you want? And 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 Karen is just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she's like, I, I, Iron Vamp is my b- best friend. And oh. um, oh my god, if she doesn't back you off, you should. You should go because we're going to get the public transportation on you and you not want to face the horrors of the public transportation. Hey, jet ski, you need to talk to your girl. She's <laughs> out of control. She's really just left. Does she have commitment issues? Oh, she didn't tell me anything about this. Oh my God. You need to, you what, need to but what if her. The- but the thing is, what if those two were like, oh, I don't know if there's an alien equivalent, but like they were unicorn hunting and like, you know, they were like looking for the third and like, maybe she that's be part why. of that. And that's why she, that's why she left. Like, I mean, it sounds like they were already together and she just bailed. That's kind of shitty without a word. You just don't, you just leave and don't say anything. Like uh, how old is Karen? Is she not an adult? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's hella old. Like they're aliens. They're super crazy. Like yeah. they're like so, we've been le- living for like eons. Like <laughs> yeah, I mean they've they've clearly gotten past like you know the stigma of being in a poly relationship in their society. So I don't really understand why she just up and left without maybe having a conversation. Oh and- oh, skull! At this point, you're gonna need to step in here. Remember what your therapist <laughs> said. You uh, you gotta pass that information along to Karen so that she can face these fears and and admit if she did something wrong. Go 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 be go be a good friend. Okay. Yes. I yes I yes I've got to. Sorry. Yes, I've got to support Karen. And and you watch as Skull kind of steps up to Karen, um, and 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 y'all can see like he, he places a hand on on Karen's shoulder. I am Skull, Karen's best friend, 
<laughs> hey, bless it there, buddy. <laughs> we, we don't have to use qualifiers here, but keep going. Keep going. Give her um, some support. You got this. You got this. I um, go ahead and roll me empathy. Um, Edna and okay. Je- and Jetski, I believe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me some. <laughs> Ooh. Um, uh, six, I got nine. <laughs> Oh my god! Well then, <laughs> well my my empathy is high and I rolled a six. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. I think Fenway might be frozen. No. Oh no! <gasps> no, let's go ahead and get no. another roll. Let's get a roll from uh. Do, 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 do. Let's. Oh, oh. we can we can oh, no. say that vamp was like moved away uh moved away from um from karen because mm-hmm. karen's like oh you're my best friend and then iron vamp may have been like uh <laughs> like yeah yeah, yeah. like <laughs> so like a little sidestep just like no mm-hmm. like i don't want to like sidesteps away and closer to moonshadow <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> bumping into her like oh excuse me i am very sorry <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get a roll from. I think Mo hasn't rolled yet. Well, have I? I have okay. I've rolled something earlier. Oh, but you did. I, okay, so I everyone could, is who yeah. would like who? Okay, who would whoever would like to roll? I'm sorry. I could roll though. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> the chaos. Oh, yeah. help us support. Um, so empathy. Yeah, yeah, empathy. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's gonna be an eight. Okay, we're oh definitely over 10. We've got like <laughs> the besties in the whole universe over here, like the best besties ever. Yes. <laughs> and um Skull kind of um speaks up looking over to Karen. You know, Karen, my therapist says that um if you uh if you you should face your fears and you should right your wrongs and um you should you know be honest and honor your feelings of what's what's going on here with the situation it sounds like these folks are your friends and and we're also your friends so maybe we can just calm down and i'll be friends and have pop tarts (laughs) i'm so proud (laughs) and and he's like and i what how was that that was I did a good. <laughs> you did absolutely wonderful. That was amazing. Now, now stand there and be be a good friend. And, He's like and standing there, whatever. like beaming, just beaming, proud, right? Like yeah. with oh, with all the so super cute. sharp werewolf teeth. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. So cute. Very honestly. like imposing, but like just so proud, just beaming. And uh, and, and I'll, I'll quickly say, oh, Lisa is very impressed. Because I'm I'm all here for hooking the two of them up. I'm, I'm <laughs> totally here to support this in in oh, any way possible. Lisa, yeah. So she'll definitely help me with. Should I just? I should probably be honest and honor my own feelings and probably get the pink dye. If it's gonna make you happy, then all. Oh, don't don't you know you gotta do what you gotta do and, and be true to yourself but you it, know it, it would yes and she seems really good with colors and i like that so and I mean, it it seems like she likes you too so you know we'll get you all set up and then if i've got to go and uh pick up something at the store you know we can go do that later oh oh i i love shopping yes yeah. <laughs> maybe Oh, that wasn't exactly what I meant, but okay. All right. No, you, you keep, keep uh, supporting Karen. It's going to be great. Karen, it's going to be great. (laughs) And, and with that, Karen um, step forward, steps forward. And uh, she, she starts to explain uh, the situation. Um, Okay. Well, this is like the alien's name of like, you know, (laughs) and this is, other alien name um we can call them um we can call them uh that that's that's jessica and that's joe (laughs) and um so they 
and I, you know, we're, we are all um, together, but you see, I wanted to go off and explore the rest of the planets. And sometimes, sometimes you guys get a little too crazy and it's really intense for me. And she just starts to like spill out her feelings about everything, um, about basically how like she's, she's, a you know, you, you, you're able, you're able to get the gist of that. She's like, you're like, oh shit. Like, yeah, they're all together (laughs) and she's, they're just kind of intense for her sometimes. And she's just like, you know, I, I just kind of want to like, I wanted to go do my own thing and have some time like on my own for myself. And it got to be a little bit much. And, um, their response to that is like, um, like, oh, well, why, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> and she's like, well, I, 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 I thought that, you know, I thought, I thought that, you know, you, 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 you wouldn't, um, like, like that. And I, I didn't want to upset anybody. So I thought that, you know, like, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, and, and she's just like rambling on and on. And you see the, the two other aliens like come forward and they all group hug and it's like, Oh, so nice. And, um, yeah. And as, and as that's happening, um, Ren, you see, um, and you hear uh, Blackbird just freaking out, like just in in the background, just freaking out. What, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Um, she 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 starts to kind of talk to you. She's like, "Hey, hey, Ren. Um, we have a huge issue. We have a very, very, very big what? issue. What? Um, you know how no one knows like my true identity? Well, yeah. apparently, um, there's some um some um villain who is is threatening to release." information of my true identity to all the new stations and that would be very problematic so i need you to i need i need, I need we need to shut this down we need, we need to I, shut not, I'm not i'm not the tech oh, oh hold on okay 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 and i think i think ren's gonna lean over to like the other the others be like hey uh who does tech here again just just so That's i'm me yeah what's up so apparently there's going to be a villain that's going to be releasing or at least going to be try to release a uh, blackbird secret identity. Could you just like, oh. do we know that? who it, do we know who it is? Well, who's the villain? Um, Oh gosh. Um, the villain is, um, <laughs> hold, uh, damn it. <laughs> Hold, his name hold. is Hold Damn It. Oh, yeah, God. exactly. Captain hold oh. Damn It. Wanna... <laughs> exactly. Oh, his God. name is is Hold Damn It. <laughs> oh my God, he's such a he's not even a such a tool. He is a tool. Okay, yeah, give and me his a name second. sucks. <laughs> oh, okay, he could yeah. definitely use a little bit of this therapy. That's for sure. Okay, okay. Here's Captain Hold th- Damn It. Here's, here's the deal, Red. I'll do this, but uh-huh. Blackbird has to stop leaking information to the government. Okay. I don't think she burn, is, but like burn those burner phones is what I'm saying. Yeah. I think that's just her work phone. That's not a burner phone. That's just her work phone. She has a government agency issued phone, so she doesn't use her work calls for her regular phone. She has two separate lives. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh my god! Do you, do you uh, want okay. her for her work phone to like look at it? <laughs> I'll just hack it later. Okay, um, that's fine. Okay, it, but I yes, I will. I will help her. Keep her secret identity. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want help? Ren, is it gonna yeah. be okay? She's like her voice is trembling oh. and she's like freaking oh, yeah, out. Yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, we're working on it right now. Um okay. I think yeah. the alien thing is okay. They're hugging now. I don't understand what's going on. Apparently they were old lovers and like they hash things out. I don't know. Like <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't I think Karen uh over uh thought that they were gonna destroy our city when they just wanted to talk and yeah. you know so Karen needs, I think hey Edna you should give Karen the number to Skull's therapist because I think she really needs it. Oh absolutely I I, I think would all of hum- you would a human therapist know how to handle alien issues though? I well, just you know a alien issue this is a commitment issue this is a telling the (laughs) truth and being honest with both yourself and the people who are around you which you know is is good for your feelings and also good if people are thinking that you're holding back stuff and you're actually working for the government right blackbird (laughs) 
<laughs> Justin also like leans over to Anna. Hey, Anna, can I have that phone number as well? I think Iron Vamp would really do well with that kind of thing as well. I mean, not that I'm saying you need it, bud, but like sometimes, you know, you want to go to the therapy before you actually, actually need it. Just like a little, you know, checkup, that kind of thing. Right. Oh, I'm going to get you all the number. It's going to be great. And listen, uh, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. And you you shouldn't be ashamed to go to a therapist. Like, tell them, Skull, it helped you a lot. You know, I think you're almost ready to tell them your real name, right? Uh, I Maybe you could help me when we get back after this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... That's, that's, a, that's a later thing we'll do together. Yes, thank you. Um, one admission of of, of a, a personal feelings at a time yeah <laughs> he's like this is a lot we're doing today and and as this is all happening um you you see basically uh the aliens and and karen they're all talking in their 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 alien uh language and things seem to be the vibe is positive like the vibe is very positive and and after their conversation while you were all having the conversation uh karen turns around and she's like okay so uh jessica and joe are going to be coming back to our place um they're very interested in the popping tarts and um i think we may have some left. I think I did not eat all of them. Oh, we can pick up more if we need. That's for yeah. sure. There's a Costco down the street, honey. Yeah, it's we can fine. definitely. There's we can plenty definitely get yeah. plenty. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and with that, they um, all all of the supers like from this experience of like, oh, we were going to, we were gonna go fight, and it was like, no, we just hugged it out, and mm. um, they all you they are, they all make their way. They're you can see them traveling back to the, um, to the, uh, to the, to the, the HQ. And sometimes, uh, uh, you know, you don't have to resolve a crisis by punching things. You just have to talk them yeah. out. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Also, I'm working on the hacking thing right now. <laughs> so just so you know, Red. But again, oh, okay. Yeah, yes. stop I, leaking do you, do you need help with that? I, I can do some tech stuff. <laughs> I need, I need, yeah, I need two people to roll. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. No, it's I, okay. I, I get so caught up no. in the moment of RP and I forget to have you guys roll. Bobo, uh, you're doing amazing. <laughs> doing doing great. great. This has been Thank so you. much fun. <laughs> Thank you. Is this a brains uh, roll? We're, this is going to be a brains roll. Yes. Okay. Big brain I had time. rolled before <laughs> I got a nine. Hey, oh, wow. I got a six. So like. So there it is. There it is. That's definitely over a 10. <laughs> okay. You are and successfully able to do. Can I also just leave a virus in a whole damn <laughs> a computer? Captain, hold damn it. Yeah. Yeah, can I just, you do. Can I, like, okay, great. He's it's not even a look. real captain, don't what, you what, know? What, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it like so Lisa Frank Dolphin just popping in and out? Like, <laughs> a, like <laughs> it, is, it is that, but then it crashes his whole system because yeah. he needs to learn a lesson. Yeah. And Each you, time it dives in, it just splashes more color and eventually just like eats it. Yeah. Pixels. And mm -hmm. you found out like his true identity too. <gasps> yeah. Like, oh my God, his, his name is Kevin. His yeah. name is Kyle. He drinks monster energy drinks. Yeah. How despicable. <laughs> yes. His and last name is actually Holden, Kyle Holden. Sorry, <laughs> oh. yeah, actual Kyle Holden here. I, I apologize, <laughs> but yeah. that's just, that's the actual that's where name. He got, that's where he got his uh, Captain Hold, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you get like a picture of his face and like you know where he lives you know all his info now and yeah. he has i sent him a message that says if you try this again i will fight you <laughs> <laughs> justin, justin sends a message to that, that just says this you in a question mark <laughs> <laughs> and i have a i have his echo tell him i'll find you <laughs> <laughs> also also give him give him the information for the therapist because he could definitely oh, need it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. you know what and uh, that's a great idea i appreciate that you're always looking after people's mental health um yeah. and i i do send him the number to the therapist because it seems like he might need it right well definitely it's like it. the numbers sparkling with like rainbows and the dolphin just keeps yeah. jumping over it's just, it it's like... says seek help <laughs> therapy is not bad yeah, <laughs> you may. You, after what you did to his computer, <laughs> <laughs> you, you may be a villain, but you don't have to spend. Uh, you don't have to have bad brains. <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah, 
And with that, the your super friends come back to the HQ. Um, Skull, uh, Skull comes back. Moon Shadow, uh, Karen, who's um, you know, chatting it up with Joseph and Joe, uh, Jessica and Joe. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Iron Vamp is is there kind of, you know, walking uh kind of behind Moonshot. You can see he kind of seems like he's deliberating like do I want to talk to her? Do I not? Like what do I do? He's kind of like and and Blackbird is there and she she runs up to you right and she's just like thank you so much for 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 always having my back. And oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Been, Lisa definitely was helping too cuz you know, Lisa's a lot better at the tech stuff than I am. So she looks over to you Lisa and she runs up to you she's like please thank you. You, can I give you a hug? Yes, you could give me a hug. And as we hug, I say, Stop leaking our information. <laughs> <laughs> the government can't be trusted. Please stop. They can't be trusted. Is there a- have, you, have you not just read history? Is there a. Is there. Should we be fighting the government? I mean, Eventually. Yes. Yes. Eventually, that's next week's problem. (laughs) Absolutely, no, no. Next week's problem is uh, something else that I said earlier that I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. We're just adding it on to like the different issues. Yeah, that's next week. Oh, that's next week. Oh, this is next week. Yeah, she she looks at you. Seven days. (laughs) That's oh my god. Next week that is true. (laughs) Um. Oh, I think next week we were gonna storm Area Fifty One. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, Also, next week it's vampires too. Yeah. 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 She looks at you, Lisa, and she like has both of her hands on your shoulder and she looks at you and she's like, I will, if you need me to, I'll be a double agent. Oh my God. Honestly, that would be amazing. You should absolutely do that. If, if there's any information that you need on the government or from the government's database, I will supply it. <laughs> okay, perfect. We have How does Ren feel person. about this? Uh, I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Ren just like... <laughs> you know what that works whatever <laughs> I'm, I'm just here i don't work for the government i'm just that's, i have no part of that i'm your so best ever. friend not the government she's like the government friend. are not my best friends but you all are my best friends so oh yeah. also Aww. just so you guys know i am still working on a se- a secret i did like more identities for you guys just in case we have to go on the run of jason <laughs> <Okay>. board style <laughs> oh my god well, yeah, and I have sure. my and I have my go bag. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I I go to Lisa and say, "Hey, can you make sure?" Um, because I just want to mess with him. But uh, Iron Vamp's new identity make it less start as the first name. Okay. Does he deserve that? He always deserves to be that. named, but to be named after somebody so cool. <gasps> I was gonna say maybe Edward Cullen, but like that's just me. <gasps> that's just that is just oh cr- that that's is just cruel? cruelty. That is. I will. Cool? Name, how about I name him Louis first, and then we can work up to Lestat. I just okay. give him different vampire names every oh time until maybe he figures it out. He'll never yeah. figure. How it about out. the Count? Not the Count. <laughs> Count. He hates vampire movies. He hates them. He's like the whole time he watches them, he's like, "That's incorrect. That's incorrect." He's like, "Where do they get their information?" And he, but he does loves- love the Count. Is what I'm I'll saying. Make- <laughs> Wait, no. but what if i make him an identity and it's like he's a doctor and his name is dr acula oh and my god together it's dracula dr acula he likes that he's like that's very clever no I one will ever were... know <laughs> oh my god you could hear this conversation happening <laughs> no yes, like he, he can hear really well because he has like oh, no. super hearing no they're back like they're back they're, no they're... i i know they're back but it's just like oh i thought this is oh <laughs> i didn't think i was being so loud i'm so sorry um <laughs> but also since you can hear me you should like ask mood shadow out on a date to, yeah to totally one, bud do that to one of those restaurants yes that i sent you with the excel spreadsheet okay he 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 looks at you and kind of nods like very solemnly and like walks very like uh, Maybe take, the iron, maybe take the iron suit off first, though. It's you, dark in here. <laughs> you and then he to... starts taking it off, and I go, not here. Not right now. Oh, is he naked underneath? 
no. usually. Is, he oh. goes commando in his armor? No, it's he has armor. That's not Leave a telegram on chasing and like that yeah, can't be. So, he has cold. So he has cold. He has cold. He has cold skin. It's hard skin. He doesn't need <laughs> underwear. I know, but like still, it's just so comfortable. He has like a spandex body suit underneath. It. Momo's like, no, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. he will have a spandex it's, thing underneath. Yeah, he does. Oh, he then has he like should, a spandex body suit. <laughs> that he should absolutely take the suit off. Show he off does, that he, thick ass. <laughs> He I am pushing on it. I am pushing my my uh, soup into like a, a different room. You do not <laughs> want to show everything until you're ready. <laughs> he, he's like pressing the button, and you see the suit just kind of like coming. <laughs> it just he's seems like, like no, <laughs> no, we're not doing and, and this. He's getting, he's getting like pushed away as the suit's undoing, and you get like glimpses of like, oh, he's wearing a spandex bodysuit okay. underneath that. Like, oh, but what's Moon be? What's Moon Shadow's reaction to this? I need she's, to know. She's just like looking with like big eyes, like <laughs> you know, like the big eyes, like yeah, yeah. And you like what you. Yeah, it's good to look at, isn't it? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know what color is this spandex body? It's purple. Yeah. Bl- oh, oh, it's royal purple. purple. Oh, it's- okay, it's oh, royal beautiful. purple because he's a vampire. It's royal purple. And, yeah. and I'm gonna look over at Skull and I'm gonna say, "See, see, even even the darkest of us need to have a little bit of color in our lives." Now you oh. take this. It's 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 a um it's the l'oreal hair color and so i think it'll work really well and uh you go ask lisa the best way to put this in okay yeah he goes over he takes it and he's like okay do you think i should share my identity before or after i ask lisa oh you know i think you'll know the right time to tell her your real name fred it's gonna be okay okay (laughs) Oh. You say friend or Fred? Fred. I said Fred. <laughs> okay. Fred, his name is. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I. Uh, and he he starts to uh to walk over to uh to you, Lisa, and um, he he holds out the die and. Uh, Lisa, would you yeah. mind to help me add some color in my life? Oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, absolutely. But is this the pink that you want? Because they have brighter pinks. Is I'm more than happy like... to go shopping with you to find a brighter pink if that's what you want. But it's up all it's about what you want. I I love what would love that. Um also I have to tell you something, Lisa. Okay, what is uh, it? And, and and he like holds his hand out to shake your hand. He's like, my my real name is is Fred Decker. It's nice to meet you. And he like kind oh. of he kind of puts his werewolf um like look down and, okay. and, and he's like he's like uh, this 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 is the real me or oh. the other me is also the real me. But there's two of me, I guess. No, it's all just you. It is nice to meet you. My name is actually Lisa, just so you know. (laughs) And I'm just standing like 10 feet away, like. (laughs) But also in her mind, Lisa's like, oh, I have to chase the identity I made for him because it's Fred. (laughs) (laughs) That's so good. Uh, so good that is so good (laughs) and and they go they they and he and he wants to go shopping so they they get their shopping and uh and 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 that happens and um um let's see we've got um karen who's brought their their joe and 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 jessica there and they're like she's showing them all the pop tarts and like try this flavor try they're like taking bites out of all of them just trying all the different flavors and she pulls out the remote and she's like behold humanoid technology 
and she starts pressing all of the buttons on all it. of the lights start yeah. flashing yeah 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 all the lights yeah the disco oh, ball drops from the ceiling <laughs> right 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 speakers <laughs> turn on it's her, it's a party now <laughs> everybody's partying now yeah Iron it's a Bat party jumps out. it's like oh it's a party and he's still just wearing his spandex oh my god <laughs> put yeah. your clothes on he's just like out in his purple spandex like yeah um uh, moon, moon shadow may I have this dance <laughs> <laughs> it's all like he's all like formal and bowing to her as the techno music lane in the spandex and 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 she looks at him and she's like yeah like I'm kind of feeling it and and she she does her dance but it's like her her little transform routine and she's she's not quite transforming oh, she's sparkling but then she's just like no no wait this isn't right and she walks over to you Lisa <laughs> oh, oh <yeah>. no <clears throat> Bo- Boosh, Shadow what's wrong I thought you were really hitting it off with Iron Vamp Iron Vamp um I just I need a moment um and 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 she looks over at you, Lisa, and she's just like, Lisa, there's something I I need to tell you. Oh, what are you? Do you are you also going to reveal your secret identity to me and or ask me out on a shopping date? <laughs> I, I will. I um um. And she like does her transform, but it's like reversed. <laughs> and she's yeah. like, and and you see like Claire standing <gasps> before you. You mean to say that my best friend and my other best friend are the same person? Yeah. Or does Claire have a twin? <laughs> um she looks I have over. Three to bra- I have three to braids, <laughs> by the way, but I'm choosing to act like <laughs> <laughs> she she looks at at Fred and she looks over at Edna and Justine and Jetski and Red. She's kind of looking at everyone. She's just like, oh, no, no, I I don't have a twin. I I you've been hanging out with me the whole time, and um, you know, um, I uh. I, I, I just, I, I had so, was having so much fun with you as Claire and, and as Moonshadow, but every time you, you say you want us all to hang out, it, it, it kind of like breaks my heart. So I just, I just wanted to, to tell you who I really was. Oh, Claire, thank you so much. I really appreciate that you trust me with this information. And yeah, I mean, I always want to hang out with you. And I always want to hang out with Moon Shadow. And I guess since I've been doing it the whole time, I'm happy. <laughs> she just like she she just gives you like a big hug and um and and she's got like sparkles all over her and stuff. And uh she uh she whispers in your ear, she gives you she's like, Thank you so much for um helping me um see my my feelings for Iron Vamp. Um oh you're welcome. It <laughs> it's been foretold. <laughs> told in my fan fiction i'm a diviner wow maybe okay. you're a superhero too please the wor- maybe but you know the world can't handle it so i'm fine with just being a sidekick <laughs> and being she a just- superhero seems like a lot of work too and i have a lot of like fan fics i need to be writing like yeah the, the, i i you know i'm popular i at People ask me for updates all the time. I'm just very busy. Right. And with that, she goes off and dances with Iron Vamp. And um, Karen has invited Jet Ski over. Or maybe Jet Ski has inter- interfered or intercepted the, the remote <laughs> pressing. And you now have not one, but three new three a- aliens. Three alien Take friends. Um, or to Good babysit, luck. see it your way. <laughs> <laughs> and um they they all like really take to you jet ski they are all like just babbling on with you like yeah this is they're like wow she is she's the most intelligent human life wow like they're just so like in all like wow she made this and they're all like super like into it and um yeah they're oh you have a fan club yeah you've got you've got an alien fan club you know and it's awesome and 
just as that happens, um, the TV had been pressed on um, by uh, the the remote, and with that, uh, the news pops on, and the news pops on, and you all hear uh, a newscaster who is saying, uh, uh, and once again, our super friends have saved the city from an impending doom of the alien invasion. <laughs> and and Blackbird is just rushing over to the TV to shut off. And she's like, how did they get this information? <laughs> the government is always <laughs> listening, Blackbird. I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> and that's that's the the end of our oh yeah or one shot <laughs> so good, good job good job good job good job <laughs> we saved the universe yeah. and friendship yes and the power love. friendship and, and love. love yeah <laughs> i guess i could stop talking like that now <laughs> <laughs> you're good <laughs> you're good yeah so i hope everybody had a great time uh thank you all for joining us today um it was really 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 awesome it was great great to be a gm for you all and help with the storytelling this collaborative experience of um guys in chairs definitely would i had a lot of fun um you know playing it and uh hope you all did too i would highly recommend checking it out if you've not done so already um yeah and we've got uh let's see here we have got for the fundraiser um wow we so far we're at 732 dollars for the fundraiser which is awesome so thank you to everyone too who has um contributed and donated to the cause for wava uh which is um a great cause for for helping uh you know uh, survivors so um you can still donate and we still do have some more shows coming later so uh there will be on ttrpg today um yeah oh wow you've yeah you all funded basically so far full funded a full support group for survivors which is which is amazing which is super super amazing and we've got our next uh stream which is going to be at 5 p.m which will be here on ttrpg i believe Mm -hmm. um so it will be honey heist so check that out honey heist sounds really cool i haven't yet to play it but someday um you can all check it out here um there's going to be amazing folks also a part of that because women of dnd put together an awesome thing with a lot of awesome people so you know come back or stick around check it out here on ttrpg honey heist um and uh yeah continue to support the great cause and check out these amazing players we got we can go ahead and uh kind of uh go around and outro if you guys want to sh- plug anything or and we can go uh we'll go backwards this time with uh i believe that would be gliza Hello, hello. Uh, I am Gliza. I am a person of many hats, as I've mentioned before. Um, I'm a podcast host. I am a writer. I am a streamer. I'm a TTRPG performer. I'm almost always uh, on camera uh, every night this month and the next month. But you know what? I'm learning to strive for balance as a cookie fortune cookie uh from panda express told me i need to strive for balance so that's gonna happen eventually uh but yes uh, find me everywhere uh by just going to bio.link forward slash classical gliza or just go to at classical gliza on twitter because i make all of my announcements there and also i'm occasionally hilarious there and always a delight so check me out (laughs) yeah awesome thank you and we'll go ahead with fair uh, hi, I'm Fair. I've been Lisa Frake. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at FairBear. Um, Thursday nights, you could find me over on the Greater Restoration Crew, 8 p.m. Eastern, for Tales of Faerun, a homebrew D&D 5e campaign. Um, Fridays, you can find me over on Chaotic Tiefling ATL, also 8 p.m. Eastern, for Thirsty Sword Lesbians. Um, and Saturday nights, including tonight, you'll find me over on Rolling D's 20s, 9 p.m. Eastern for Philly by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade campaign. Um, and just follow me on Twitter. I have some other stuff coming up that hasn't been announced yet. It's very exciting. So, yeah. But also keep giving money to this amazing cause. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead with uh, Fenway. If you'd like to go ahead and tell people where they can find you and what you got going on. 
Absolutely. So my name is Fenley Jones, also known as Fenley the Teen DM on Twitter and at Jasper's Game Day on social media. Um, if you are interested in more charity events, definitely ch- check out Jasper's Game Day. We are having a uh, game week coming up here in May, and that is going to be super exciting. And um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm focused on right now. Awesome. And then Mo. Hey, I'm Mo. You can find me all over the internet at Serena Pesos. I am a tabletop content creator, writer, podcaster, streamer, cult sensitivity consultant. Pretty much anything except for like layout, which I, uh, that's a whole other beast upon itself. <laughs> um, I am a caretaker from Utopia, which is a BIPOC streaming community for BIPOC folk. Uh, we do a lot of streaming stuff overall. We just had a big charity thing last weekend and we're gonna probably do some more in the future so please just be on the lookout for that i think right now um next week they're gonna be doing uh the last week of the trans rights bundle so they're gonna be playing some of the games from the trans right bundle so uh be on the lookout for utopia if you're also by poc link for community fill out the, the 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 google form and uh come join us uh but yeah i, I do way too much just follow me on twitter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and last but not least we got lauren Oh, hi. I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator over at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on Twitter as Oba Lauren. And hey, there's been a lot of awesome donations that have happened from all of you. And that has been amazing. And thank you. But sometimes you're in a position where you don't have a couple bucks to, to spare. And we've all been there. And it can be it can be hard when you're sitting here and you want to support a charity. But, you know, you got to support yourself first. So don't feel bad. But if you can, maybe tell some people on social media and spread the word and help out because you know what? It's, it's sometimes more important to tell people than it is to donate yourself because for every pers- every time that you retweet or repost or tell people, then there's more people who will come and help out. So thank you to everybody who has helped spread the word about this amazing uh, charity and all of the work that they've been doing. So thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for all of that. And I am Momo uh, and I've been the uh, game master slash storyteller for today um it's been a pleasure to play all with you today um you can find me on a minstrel's tale where um uh, we share um tales from this realm and beyond with you oh i have rhyme of the frost made in which i dm um every saturday at 6 p.m pst over on a minstrel's tale at twitch and uh saturdays in the morning the second and third saturday here you can find me on trptrpg for our uh, masks campaign, which is going on and a lot of fun. And on Mondays over for Curse of Strahd on Talking XP. So a lot of fun stuff. Um, uh, Like you said, share those links if you can help, even if you can't donate money is very, very helpful. Um, Our next game is going to be here on TTRPG at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and it will be Riley's uh, Honey Heist. So stick around and uh, show some share some of that love and support with them as well like you've done for us we really appreciate it yeah 